Sorry, I can't actually see any chat yet, so if there's anyone saying anything, I can't see. Yeah, tell. Kim Jong-un, come on. Can't we have peace in our time? I'm not so aggressive. Oh my god. Sorry, I just realized this is like super small. Uh, happy Saturday, everybody. Make sure audio is right. Don't know if I ever just uh testing some filters. I don't know if I wanna Hello, hello. I need any of that, that see what it's doing. It's a difference, but maybe I'll, I'll hear it. I'm going to crack open the editor here, and then I'll go into the little intro I got. didn't. This doesn't really look that familiar. I think this is one of those ones I downloaded to show. Open up the Red series. Poisoned Land. Oh my god, look at that. Anyways, hello everybody. Welcome. Welcome to my channel. Uh, my little corner of the internet, if you will, where I decided to... Uh, stake my claim and uh, start documenting the little journey I'm going on where I'm trying to uh, kind of keep my see, 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 
I don't remember if I played that. I'm gonna be honest. I think I, I literally downloaded that for a stream, and then we I never got around to playing that. Uh, I have a bunch of those. Um, but uh, where I decided to plot my little stake my claim, if you will, and uh, start making some Duke Nukem 3D maps, but really haven't successfully made a single map yet. But the idea is it was a uh, part of my journey to keep myself focused enough and not abandon ideas, which I'm known very notorious for of having half formed finished concepts around my house uh, or projects. So I decided, you know what, I'll just, I'll stick with this channel and see if I can uh, make it work. And uh, so through the process of staking my claim, learning how to map for Duke Nukem 3D, documenting my journey, uh, both for myself, but also to kind of share that experience uh, with others as well, who might be interested in the mapping journey. Um, because I, the build engine, which is used for Duke Nukem 3D, which we're going to be playing some today, is a pretty versatile little engine here. It's a 2.5D engine, so it is something that isn't true 3D. Um, the concept is you could draw it on a sheet of grid paper, which is what the engine kind of looks like. So this is what the level editor is. It's Mapster 32, which is the um, enhanced level editor that comes with the eduke 32 source port that we use to play all of our games. So what you're seeing on screen here is uh, a map called, it's the first map of the Red series, or at least the remade version of it, uh, that which we did play on this channel. So it's uh, everything you see here is created in the editor, played it, uh, all the, the map we're going to be playing today, which is a remake of, I, I don't want to say remake, it's more like a reimagining, which we've been doing a lot of lately, actually is uh, a reimagining of uh, episode one, mission two, from the original Here, always throws me in for a loop. I uh, Star Nuko. So uh, that's what we'll be playing today. But what we do is we start off uh, each stream, well, we have been lately, with uh, about an hour of mapping. Um, since that was the original focus of the channel and I didn't want to kind of lose touch with where we're going, because when we do play these maps too, we're going to be playing them and looking at like how did they figure things out like how did they design stuff like this uh how did they figure out how how they built certain ideas or concepts did they really stretch the edge uh, editor like how uh, high treason does with uh, all of his logic puzzles and things of that nature that's i think what these are i think uh, at least these are spawns or triggers yeah so these are all like logic little triggers which i haven't really got into yet so um we do a bit an hour of mapping, and we're working on kind of a 90s-ish mall, uh, where some days we have some good progress, some days we don't really have a plan. I have a plan today, so I think we're actually going to get some stuff done. Um, I'm still a little miffed or a little lost at what I'm going to do in terms of plotting. I have a vague idea of what's going to be happening in the map uh, that's forming, but still not how we're going to get into the pieces or when. So. Um, but I've thought about creating things as um, little hubs using the key cards as your access way where you can kind of tackle them anyway. And through that, I have a specific area where each hub would be designed around a different concept. Uh, just to give you a, a visual variety while you're exploring the little mall location, you'd still be, have little stores in the mall you'd be able to explore. This is weird if you don't know what we're up talking about yet, but um, I'll get around to that. So anyways, th that's the point of my little intro. Welcome to my channel. We're going to be mapping. I'm going to be uh, doing it in a way where hopefully you can learn to map with me and if you're interested and haven't mapped before you can kind of jump in and start building stuff on your own because relatively speaking it's it's kind of easy to make stuff in Mapster 32 um, at least in terms of just building uh, basic structures like a, like a house or just a, a building. It, it does get a little bit more complicated when we're trying to do, in my opinion, like outdoor stuff like this, or um, maybe very detail-oriented areas, but uh, or scripted sequences and things like that. Like anytime you need to make an explosion in Duke Nukem, there's these explosive canisters, and it's it's done in such an interesting way. Um, I just I just think it's interesting. I just like it. I like the aesthetic of it fun and that's what we're doing and i had a well-formed intro going and then i it's not chat's fault by the way it's completely mine and i got completely uh 
uh, tracked here. So this is the map that we, uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'm going to load up the map that we've been working on um, in the actual game first, just so you can have an idea of where we left off. And then I'm going to give you a little preview of what our, we call our mood board, uh, which is what we're kind of using as a design aesthetic for the mall, which I'm going to throw out a little bit. I always start off as a loose concept that then precise itself or you add it to the picture. And, and that's kind of what I'm starting to maybe get a better idea of. I'm just, I'm always like, okay, well, like, what do you, I, it's the combat stuff that always throws me for a loop. I'm not very, I, I'm, I'm still just understanding how to build things um, or make things move and stuff like that. So when it comes to, um, figuring out, okay, now, like, how do we do combat or break it up with puzzles? I, I'm kind of just jumping way too far ahead, I feel, instead of just trying to have fun building something and then connecting it as I go. Um, and figuring it, it's like I want the end concept already in my mind before I start. Building. That's kind of where I got a little stuck here, but uh, I think I have slightly better idea. I went for a walk last night. Uh, I was going to do a lot more, but unfortunately I got distracted uh, helping somebody else out. So when I finally got some free time, it was so late. I'm just switching screens so you guys can see what I'm uh, That I was just walking around. I had a little notebook with me and I was writing down little ideas of what could happen in the map, potentially. And so I do actually have some ideas. Um, the problem is some of the stuff that I was writing out isn't stuff that would be related to the mall quite yet. Um, it's more like how the map would start or lead up to it. Wait for the screen. Let's switch. Let's switch. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Never mind. Sorry. Forgot we had uh, the screen set up for last time. Um, I'm trying to find some alternative music to play too. I, I usually default to the Duke Nukem 3D, or right now we have the uh, Time to Kill soundtrack playing, uh, just because it, it's easy to loop, and I don't get copyright strike for it. Anytime I play Duke Nukem. I forget which one it is. I think it's Bobby Prince. He comes for me. Um, now I'm not monetized or anything, so it doesn't do anything, but I'm like, long-term goals. Probably should get something else. Um, so this is our mall, uh, which, if you go back to any of our streams, every which we do every Saturday, we've been starting this off for uh, past, like, five or six weeks now. Again, we're only tapping ourselves out for an hour now. Uh, to give ourselves some restrictions and maybe force us to build a little faster. Um, so I'm going to show you this and talk about my idea for today. Okay, And this is in the in game, so I guess I really need a DN Crows so there's only one guy. In there. Somehow I'm going to come. Um, so we right now the idea is Duke will I'll get, how about I give you the plot? I'll give you the vague plot here of what's happening. So, Duke Nukem 3D, not Duke Nukem 3D. Had my hands on any mod for Duke. Is it complicated? Uh, no, not really. No, it's pretty simple. There are some that can be a little bit more complicated to set up, but for stuff like, for example, all the stuff that we've been doing on the channel, uh, no, that's not true. Uh, most of them are just what just plain user maps. So the, the user maps themselves are just like one extra level, like a bonus level for Duke Nukem. So it's very, very easy to just play a user map. Um, it's when you start to get into total conversions where they change everything. Like I think uh, several weeks ago we did Starship Troopers. That's a little bit bigger, so it's a little bit different. And that one we actually did not run properly, so we broke it. Uh, which is why if you play it, watch me play it, there's some stuff that doesn't, that breaks in it. Um, that's my fault and test it beforehand. But no, in general, most user maps are fine. Um, the only issue that people run into, I find, uh, is compatibility issues. So when we're working with eDuke32, which is how we're running Duke 3D, there's a bunch of source ports you can use. 
Uh, we use our Edict 32. All the links are in my description. If you want need to own Duke Nukem 3D and you don't own it, you can go buy it through the Zoom platform. It has all the expansions included. There's an Eduke 32 uh, listing. That one I post in my description is what's going to be compatible for the map. Most of the time, you can use just regular Eduke, the, whatever version you end up downloading. When you get to some old, old maps, sometimes there is some issues where you'll go to duck and you won't fit through things because some things have changed through the years. Um, and we might use an older one and I'll include the older version that works for it. Uh, the hope is one day you won't need to keep doing that. And it'll all be uniformed, and, uh, streamlined. But for the time being, that's kind of what we got. But not hard, pretty easy. Once you once you do it, I think once you'll you'll understand. Uh, I do have a video planned that I'm going to be posting one day, uh, so that if you don't know how to get things set up, you could set it up. But it's trying to find the motivation and. and energy to do it when I feel like all my time is capped in life uh, which is one of the reasons I did this channel is ironically to try to force myself to get better at things so that I would feel like I can do more um, and it also now takes some more time you can theoretically see infinitely far in the classic and polymost re renderers but polymer has a draw distance not noticeable except on very big maps though that's interesting Yeah, if you have the regular game over Steam, that's yeah, that's fine. It's just because now they don't sell it anymore. So if you're one of those people that just didn't buy it back in the day, or I, I guess I, I should lie, World Tour is still for sale. I keep forgetting that one exists. Um, but yes, you can run the normal game with user mounts. I think World Tour does it as well by default. I don't know if you need anything special. Um, I still recommend using Eduke as well, just because it, it will run. Every Once you have it set up, it can run everything. Uh, I don't have mine set up for World Tour, though. That's the only thing. And there's a few features that are, are important. In general, everything else. So anyways, this is uh, what's going to happen in their map. So Duke Nukem is going to be abducted at some point. Originally, I had an idea of making a little intro map separately out of stream. Like, I'd be working on the side, so then I could actually have something to build outside of this, but still connect to this. And, where he would get abducted in like the wilderness or something like a forest um and it was just so i could play with an idea of the, uh, the the tractor beam like dropping down and picking him up and i still might do something like that but now i'm thinking maybe he, he's in the city or something in an apartment or penthouse he gets abducted uh he has a little combat thing in the ship so you can understand that the ship itself is empty like it's pretty much been emptied of all the aliens meaning they they they're in the city already you were on a bender or whatever happened with Duke and you didn't realize that city was already under attack. And so by the time you're abducted, you can't really do much about it. And you now have to get off the alien ship. So you do enough destruction on the ship that you sabotage it in a way where they kick you out or you escape one of the two and you get spit out or escape, but you end up falling and uh, getting knocked out so that some time passes to kind of justify why the city's already going to be under attack and why it's like kind of vacant in a way. And then you'll notice that the ship that you were in is hovering above this, which doesn't look like anything now because we're not working on the outside. Uh, it's the inside that counts. And what this is going to be is a, a mall that has a residential apartment tower on top of it. I'm thinking the concept is maybe that's where Duke, Duke originally got abducted. Like he has a penthouse suite up there. So they didn't really get far before Duke caused a lot of damage. And because they didn't get far, they're kind of scrounging for equipment in this mall to try to repair the ship enough to at least get out of there. Um, and Duke now comes back to the mall and wants to get back up to the alien ship to finish the job. That's the general gist of it. Um, now, why wouldn't Duke just go straight to the up the apartment? And why is he going to go on a little adventure here? That's the stuff that I don't. Really know. I don't really know the in between stuff. Maybe he has to get a key card to get. Like, obviously, it's going to be that. But logically or plot reason, I haven't figured it out yet. So we're going to kind of wing it a bit. 
But anyways, what, to get in the mall, it's this is going to be shut off, so you won't be able to go into this back entrance or front entrance, whatever we're going to make this be. So you have to get in, and you're going to have to go through this water here, which is like this. Uh, and this is all rough. Um, so come out here, and then you're going to pop out of the fountain that you're going to see here. And this is what we've been building. We built out a little store just as a test. This was the first thing we built, uh, the fountain. And then we start working on this area. One of the things you don't see here, I'll load it up in the previous version of this. Uh, but anyways, we start building a food court. This is what this is going to be. And my concept here was you'd be able to run back and get your healing through the food court if you needed more uh, while you kind of venture throughout the mall. Uh, we did build this, which is gone in this version, but it's still here on the editor. Uh, but I'll go back to the prior iteration of this, which is this one. Um, and I do have a little, I have an idea. So on the alien ship, there's going to be, you're going to have a pistol start when you're on the alien ship. So pistols only very basic enemies, so I'm thinking Assault Troopers would be the only real enemy uh, on the ship itself. Except for maybe one or two uh, commanders or something. So you wouldn't be really trying to beat them because you're trying to escape. But I think I'd have a secret area on the ship where you meet a... not an actual alien, you just find his room. You find out he's a secret Duke fan, like how people of K-pop and stuff like that, so he has like Duke memorabilia everywhere. And you would find Duke's shotgun in there. And that's kind of how you would get a better weapon way earlier in the map. Uh, if you did that. That's my idea. Anyways, we did this, uh, which is a skylight using a uh, Tror technique where we played with... We don't have it in this one. I'm trying to show you guys some examples if you're new to stream. And I love the wrong one. You do make stuff, I do recommend saving multiple versions of your map. So for us, what I've been doing is saving a new version every at the start of every stream. So if we screw something up, we can always just go back. Uh, it's also fun so you can go back like this and see your progress. Anyways, we made this little miniature uh, of the city just to see how it would be work, how we would make it in the editor, how it functioned. Uh, and yeah, it worked out pretty well. And I'm thinking what we do is we enhance this idea a little bit more and we'll have the uh, tower visible in there here with the ship kind of hovering in so you'll be able to see the ship. And I'm thinking about in the main hub areas, so I'm, I'm thinking about this more like a, uh, I want to say like a Dark Souls map. If people played The Surge, maybe that's a better example, which is based on Dark Souls, same idea, where you really have kind of, open, it's not quite open world. There's just sections that are different themes visually and that would be how we split things off through the key cards so but in each of those rooms there would be some kind of visual where you would be able to see that ufo so that you'd always remember that that's kind of the main goal to get to is the ufo um so crashed ufo in here and that brings us to what we're going to be making um I wonder today, which I'm going to switch over to the editor and then I'll actually catch up on. And so, yeah, this is red. So, this is what a finished map looks like when you actually do it. Or it can look like. This room was really cool, too, in red, by the way. Again, it's, it's, it's weird when you don't have it in game but there's like cool lighting effects happening where this all pulsates and it glows. It's so cool. Um, our, we're gonna work on them. I don't know what the exact limit it is, but I think it's about a thousand horizontal units or so. Um, yeah, so on the... I'm using a, a slightly edited version of this uh, editor. I got some mod install. I think the, the original one does this, but if you kind of spread stretch this line here, 
Actually, here, let's make a box. Let's make this easier. It doesn't have to be a box, but just, just for ease. I'm going to stretch this line. The right... There seems to be the cutoff. Maybe a little bit less. Straighten this out. So that's where you have that that issue, that glitch. I forget what what it is, like what what the cause is, or or why having it longer is bad. Other than that's an editing, like a like an engine limitation. But once you get this blue line, I know you have to you should separate the sectors or something. Um, polymer draw distance was observable a second at loading the shrapnel city map in polymer, I think. We'll get a night dive remaster for Duke. That would be really sick. Eh, it, it would be. I, like I do really like night dive stuff. They have a ha, they translate everything into the Kex, Kex, Kex engine. Um, but the joy to me of Eduke is that it's actually still been pretty pretty well handled by the community. And Eduke, because the community ended up becoming developers themselves, so they're the one the people who make Eduke, or a lot of them who helped develop it, ended up making um, Ion Maiden, which is in the build engine. It came out a couple of years ago. The expansion came out last year as well, and that's using a, a enhanced version of Eduke, so the build engine as well. So realistically, they, like, I just say, let them make a, a, a kind of complete edition if you wanted to, because they're already in the fold in a way. They're already involved with the company. I don't know now because there's that whole Embracer issue. I have no idea how that would work. At first, there was like a glimmer of hope once Embracer bought the rights to everything and you're like oh maybe something good will happen because now they own gearbox who own the rights and they have this thing for preservation and they own this studio they already own 3d realms they already own uh this other company void point that made the ion fury yeah that's what i mean Ion fury i, forget. I always flip up flop whether or not the name and then they have uh phantom fury the new one um so it's 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 kind of weird only really big maps, some recent maps like CK3D's Bellsfruits are affected by polymer draw distance. I think that could be good though. Like, like a draw distance worth a fog effect for a silent hilly map. Anyways, let's delete this. Uh, so I'm going to pop open the keyboard here uh, just so that you guys can see what buttons I'm pressing if you want to follow along with me or learn to build as well. Uh, but before I put the timer on to set a limit of what we're going to build, and I, I build for about an hour or so, before we go into the Let's Play, uh, is we're... Since we know we're going to go into the water here to explain to get to the mall, I was thinking about why is the water here? And then I thought about Bass Pro Shop. So if people aren't familiar with Bass Pro, So this is Bass Pro Shop, where it's like an outdoor store, and uh, but it has like this weird water thing here going on. Like there's one by my house, and they can get a little crazy. I don't think we're gonna go so wilderness wild, but I was thinking about kind of a hunt, not not a hunting specific store, but your kind of American gamey store like this but what happens if it was Duke inspired so instead of how this has like antlers and stuff it would be aliens you'd have like the mounted heads of aliens here um, you could still do outdoor themes but the idea is it's like kind of focused on on Duke branding in a way I don't know if it would be Duke Nukem specifically branding but it would fit that kind of world and aesthetic um, and what I'm thinking here though is 
we this would be a shrink this so just it's a little easier to see all the photos yeah kind of like an alien pro shop uh, but this is human made so it's not like the aliens made this humans definitely made this one uh, but this would be where you would go it would be key carded so you have to you would see it you wouldn't be able to go into it but going into it is where we kind of want to be and what I would have is there there would be a key card in the water here that you see so the these this little weird river water thing there'd be a key card at the bottom and if you go into it you get trapped in there and it was a trap by the aliens and you can't get out so you would drown and you'd have to escape out of there and that would lead back into like shortcut wise that pond area at the beginning so this pond at the beginning that we see in our uh map here so this guy right here would be on the outside of this bass pro shop as like a, a little feature to kind of feed into the theme of it so you'd be able to get a shortcut back into here and uh, then you could get back to the mall easier. And I think there would be an entrance into the mall through the Bass Pro Shop as well, like at the back, and it would be uh, closed off. I have a few other ideas for some little store sections. I'm playing around with a, uh, we mentioned in our mood board here. So if you didn't see our mood board, we get out of studio mode, it's just gonna be easier to do this. So in our mood board, we have like this Nickelodeon thing. This is all 90s style malls because that's when Duke 3D came out. Even though it's a little futuristic in terms of setting, I, I want to use the 90s as your kind of latching on point and then add a little futurism to that as well. Uh, so that's why we have a lot of 90s malls inspirations. But there's this Nickelodeon thing, which there's also a Disney store that exists where it's, it's very stylized so i'm thinking about something like this but for babeland to kind of bring back to the series and because we're using stock assets we've got to think of ways to reuse these textures um and one of the things would be you would get shrunk down into a little miniature version of uh like hollywood holocaust in red light district as if they were toys like little miniatures and there'd be an alien that shoots down and you'd have to dodge this bullet but the alien is giant um and the reason I'm not doing that today is because I, I know there's going to be some weird trickery I have to do with that to, to kind of pull it off. So, um, and that would be a lot more design work to get the aesthetic right as well. And I don't know why you're doing these things yet. So, so inside the not so bass pro shop, there will be landscaping scenery thing with water you jump into. But once you go in there, you have to find a different way out. Yeah. Which I, I stole from Bob the SP, I think, one. Where you have to go through and they, you have to, he has it so you have to kick a bunch of coral to get to a secret latch or something, to escape or something. Uh, you know how BPS has those big dioramas with the elks and whatnot? Uh, it would be cool to see those with mopeds from Duke 3D. Hey, that's not a bad idea, actually. Yeah, I haven't really thought about the scenery or much of what you would do other than there's a trap in the water. Um, and I thought visually it just looks cool, like that that Bass Pro Shop thing. So if I did a miniature version of that, it would it would be a cool way to, to break up the, the visuals and have a bigger store area that we could have some combat in, um, especially with those high ceilings it has. I just think that would be look pretty cool. Um, I do have this idea of exploding this elevator here, so it would not be usable. You'd go up to it because you want to get to the penthouse and it would blow up. And so you have to find another way up. And that's, again, we're trying to find ways to restrict access so you don't have to build the entire mall or for, force the player in certain sections as well. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where we're, we left at. We just built this mood board, built what you saw already. And now I'm thinking today, we're gonna to start building out a Bass Pro Shop as a side area. So that way we can kind of have different points we can jump back and forth on as we flesh out this map a little bit. Um, I did actually draw out some ideas. Uh, second 
here. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do. I gotta do some over to this thing for. Trials, my kids. You ever been in a strip club before? Why is this? Stop unmuting myself. Uh. Yes, I have. I'm gonna be honest, they weren't really my scene. I, I, I don't really conceptually understand strip clubs other than they're... But I'm a person who, who like, I view money as a... Well, I view money as money, so I don't understand the value of a strip club, let's put it that way. I'm not I don't understand the concept of paying for somebody to dance. It, it kind of messes, it to make sense to me. I'd expand on that, but then there's no way to subtle brag without doing it without subtle bragging. But, and that's not my intention. Uh, rid of my mood board here. Uh, I never understood the concept of throwing money towards one. Um, I pay for stuff for sure. So that it's not even that. It's just I just don't I don't understand that trade for goods and services i don't i don't there's people that obviously like it right so all all the power to them but it's just not my scene but it makes it it fits an aesthetic for duke too but i don't know if i'd have a, a strip club in a mall for example though that would be kind of duke 3d ish a mall strip club Hawaii beach section here. Um, there's certain things that would like I, I, that wouldn't be a bad idea to call back to Duke Caribbean, like as a little callback. Maybe I would do that in a in a travel center though. Um, the only reason I'm thinking about that, uh, <laughs> the only reason I'm thinking about that is because there's not a ton of textures that are good for beach settings in Duke. But there is for Duke Caribbean, but I, I'm not using those stock assets. Um, so anyways, let's get this situated. So I'm using, I, I'm pretty sure it's Brawlhub's, uh, mapping UI enhancements. So for anybody who looks at the wiki or builds stuff on their own, that's why certain things like these, these are triggers. They look different in my version compared to what you would have in yours. Uh, and I have uh, uh, some other things like this sector enhancer selector. So I. I little thing is different at a nickel for every strip club in duke i'd probably have a, a pile of nickels well it's true it, it has the art for it so it just makes sense right now let's make turn clipping off here uh no not shade sorry uh clipping so that we can kind of travel around um so i'm thinking we'll worry about the outside of the store later uh, and we can do I'm going to put the timer on a minute I'm just trying to figure out where I want to do I want to start building the outside of this area first okay start the clock Actually, wait, give me a second. Just end the call. Hello? Hello? I'm just doing my thing. What's up? Sure. Yeah. Okay. 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 Then I'll wait. I'll wait. Okay, never mind. We're gonna we're gonna chat for a little bit more because I, I have to run out and grab something, so I don't want to get interrupted. Like five minutes into mapping and, and waste some some precious mapping time that I've artificially plated. Uh, you need atomic addition due to some popular enemies or textures. Uh, wouldn't the user need Duke 3D atomic addition to play the maps since it uh, would include Caribbean beach access? So yeah, uh, atomic addition by default does not have 
Duke Caribbean assets. It doesn't have them. Yeah, so Duke Tomic is just episodes one, two, three, and four. So uh, Hollywood Holocaust, uh, Lu uh, Lunar Apocalypse. Wait, sorry, not Hollywood Holocaust. Ellie Meltdown and uh, Shrapnel City and Lunar Apocalypse and The Birth. Not in that order. I did them out of the order. But that's that's their first four, and that's the Atomic Edition or Plutonia Edition. Um, yeah, Eduke 32 is the source port. So Eduke 32 isn't Duke 3D. It's just like it, it, it helps you run it on modern systems. That's what we're using. Uh, Megaton Edition is the old version that used to exist on Steam um, before it got replaced with the World Tour Edition. And the Megaton Edition did have Duke Caribbean as well as Nuclear Winter and uh, some other ones. The Zoom platform link in my description is currently the only legal way you can now get those expansions uh, if you didn't happen to buy them back in the day, other than buying them used online somewhere. Um, so if you did not, if you were not lucky enough to buy the Megaton Edition when it was around, then you can at least for PC buy the uh, Zoom platform version and you'll get everything. Um, yeah. Yeah, the weird release order is like, there's probably tons of variations. You have Duke 3, Nuke of 3D, which is like your 1.3 release or something. Then they had the Atomic Edition, which is the original plus the new episode bundled in. And then the Plutonia Edition is just, I think, the fourth episode separately, and you could buy it and it would add it on. Then Megaton Edition came out. Technically, there's a few other versions, but then the Megaton Edition came out, and that was just everything bundled in with all the expansions that came out, everything. Uh, and it's it's the rights issue that is an issue. So the rights issues kind of complicated it, and uh, they didn't bother to um, include it in World Tour. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. Uh, that was a rushed release. They probably didn't want to pay people or figure out how the rights work and uh, they give up. But that's my problem with I, I, World Tour, is there's a lot of ideas where I, I kind of like World Tour, conceptually, but then I also realize they dropped the ball completely. Like, it's, there's a lot of stuff they just not, not do well. A little lazy, that's all. So, but if the player wanted to play a map with Duke Caribbean assets, doesn't mean they'll need to own Megaton. Uh, they would need to own the Megaton edition. Here, let's let's go to a switch screens just so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. I don't want window capture. One second here. Just because visuals are nice for people who are like living and breathing how all this works. Okay, so here's the Zoom platform. So this is, I'm not sponsored by the way. Uh, anyways, this is Zoom. So this is currently in my description. This is where you can buy uh, Duke Nuke and 3D and it has the original Duke Nuke and 3D Atomic Edition, Duke Caribbean, Life's a Beach, Duke It Out to Sea, Penthouse Paradise, Nuclear Winter, Duke Zone 1 and 2, and Duke at Zero Hour, which is something else. Um, the only thing this doesn't have is the World Tour Edition and some of the World Tour changes. So if you wanted to play a Duke Caribbean map, uh, or inspired, I just realized I'm not, yeah, I do. If you wanted to play a Duke Caribbean inspired map, you would have to have uh, the Duke Caribbean expansion installed and included in eduke 
So, or in this case, if you want to use eDupe like we're using, there's just a way where you would add the, what they call like the GRP. It's like the file that shows you where all the stuff is and you would just throw it in. And so now you have it there. So when you run eDuke and you run a map that needs the Caribbean assets, it knows what it's doing. And it just pulls those, those sprites or textures so that they're there. Otherwise, you could still play a map that has textures and assets from Duke Caribbean, but it wouldn't work properly. So you'd get like checkered textures where there is stuff that needs to be, where it needs to find those Caribbean assets. Uh, okay, let me go grab my something from my mother. I'm supposed to pop something off, so I'm glad she did it right now.
Oh. And it's kind of better I got that out of the way, but... but now we can start the main quest. Okay. $120 for the magnetite. I don't think you can actually buy the magnetite. If I did. You don't follow me on other socials. I'm not really active, to be honest, other than maybe Twitter or X. And that's like haphazardly. I keep thinking about my Discord, or a Discord, I should say, and I, I'm like half contemplating setting one up, but and then. I'm just terrible at social media. But uh, I did, I am hoovering up uh, Duke Nukem stuff over time. So I got the game.com Nukem 3D game sealed in a box. Has a little bit of damage. Got a little squished, but um, in general, I'm like, oh, what a weird little thing that exists. Got that the other day. Uh, let me reset this timer. Resume. Uh, okay, so we're going to uh, start our little mapping session here. We're going to start building out this uh, Bass Pro Shop area. So we're going to build separately and independently from this. Uh, and then we're going to drag it over. Because I'm thinking it's going to hover in right this section here. It's going to like stick in here, so you're going to see it a little bit out here. Um, but we want to get the vague shape. And I'm thinking in just a... Let's do a, a big old L. Big old L to start. Uh, I don't know how big we want it to be. I don't know how big everything is anymore. What's the snail on the left? The snail on the left is the underwater section. Tell you what I mean. In a so, when you go into this water right here, you're actually going in here. So, what happens is the way the engine works is you, because it's flat. Again, you anything you make in Duke 3D or Doom for the original Doom, you have to be able to draw on a piece of paper. So you can't and, and like drawing it overhead is what you're thinking about. It. So you can't see underneath this because you already drew the top layer of water here which is what you're seeing in the game so how would you go underneath this if you can't draw underneath it well instead you would put a little thing here saying okay well this is like connecting over here so you just draw a dotted line and actually i think i can show you that yeah so see that dotted line that little red guy here that's connecting to this to tell you those points connect so it teleports you into this section here which is a different part we drew, which is the underwater section. So this is the this is just temporary. We're going to expand the section, add more detail and, and stuff like that. But it's just to say well, this is what we're going to do. Um, so that's how underwater works in Duke Nukem 3D. It just teleports you around. I delete that. We're going to. So I'm thinking uh, an L shape here because I, I had a little drawing I was working on. So I kind of already vaguely know. Um, and we're going to shrink this guy down. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna take a copy of this Liz Trooper here. I'm gonna insert him. Um, I think anywhere I hit insert is where he would go, but I I don't trust myself. Where'd he go? Oh, there it is. And the reason we're doing that is because I have him scaled for sizing, so he's a good way to give us a size here. Um, that's why I, I like it. It's it's like I could use a more modern engine, but I think the simplicity of this stuff, while also being complex at the same time, uh, appeals to me. Because it makes everything kind of like a puzzle that you need to solve to, to get it done, uh, which I really, really enjoy. Uh, so we're going to build this area up. So we got this guy. We're going to control page up. Oops. Oh, I was hitting page down. Sorry. Because we want some high ceilings. I'm going to reset this just to get the the extras the right size here. just want to make sure. Is this a... I need one of these anyways. No, I want ulti. Is it ulti? What, am I, what am I doing wrong here? Is it, I want to delete this. What am I doing wrong here? I want to hold. Should I? Make this a second and just join it. I guess that's a little different way. So connect to the other different. The rest of the 2D. Uh, uh, once the other wire sections are done, you can move them around and overlap them with outside. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Um, I don't want this to be this big. So how big do we want the... I'm going to cut this down. Is this going to be the underwater portion here? So let's let's move this guy back here. So I just want to figure out how big this is going to be, and then we can kind of go from there. You're here. Mask this. But. I'm gonna do this one as the clear glass. For now. I'm gonna probably change this, but I just wanna know that there's something here. And I wanna shrink this down. So let's shrink this down. I'm thinking. getting the feel of the space right now. So I'm going to delete this one, delete this one. I want to get a feel of how big I want this space to be for the underwater portion. One of the things I noticed in one of the maps we played, uh, I want to say it was in one of the Duke Hard maps, was that there was a part where the sharks were poking out of the water when this was glass. Um, so this would be, you'd actually be able to go on top of here, so maybe we would have this as, let's do it like this, maybe. Oh, I gotta, I gotta make this a, a viable sector, so we're gonna do that. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking that, I'm gonna remove the mask here, and here. Um, we'll put the mask back here. I don't think I'll, I'm actually going to need it here. But for the time being, we're going to just leave something here. And we're going to go up on this one and this guy over here. One, two, one, two. 
Two. Two. Yeah, that's gonna be high enough for that. Because this isn't gonna go all the way that high. So like, the glass is only gonna go up to here. How am I gonna do that? How am I gonna, I'm saying how I, I'm gonna do that, even though I know of a way, but I'm trying to not automatically default to, oh yeah, let's just do a drawer. Let's just do a drawer layer here, because I, I don't think I need to do it. Um, I just don't want it that high. Just switching to the, we're looking at a picture of the Bass Pro Controller. It's gonna have to be one for one. So they have stones. Stones go up a little bit, so they're slanted, and then they have all this stuff in the back that's that's rocky to make it look realistic. So if we were to, just for example, uh, change this to one of the rock textures, we'll uh, shrink out the preview palette using the what is it brack. Closing bracket and star on the numpad. You have to use the numpad. Uh, will the glass be breakable? No. This glass will not be breakable. The concept of having a giant piece of broken glass with water in it where you could where the water would pour out sounds really cool. I'm just not 100% confident I know I'd be able to pull that off through my trickery. Sometimes I, I think I, I might know how things are pulled off. Uh, we'll, we'll do that for now. Let's do that for now. Uh, we'll get the other one. Uh, I'm trying not to get so stuck on texturing right now. I just want to know that it can be done. But since we are going to play with some outdoorsy areas, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slap some outdoors textures here so that we can quickly copy and paste and, when we need them instead of having to search for them all the time. Um, so like stuff like that. Uh, what else do we got here? That's outdoor based. Uh, that's not, but we're going to... That might work kind of actually. We'll put that back here for now. This time I'm going to switch around though. Again, none of, none of this is permanent. I might do a little bit of that, but not here. That's pretty much just this. We don't need that. Mm, that kind of works, but I don't know if I want that. Put that here, maybe. Um, what else? What other, what other outdoorsy rock textures do we have? There's, we already did that one. I know there's that, but I don't... Is there any in episode... Uh, four? I'm, I'm trying maybe maybe I do have a for that that kids place I, I'm thinking about using Babeland so I don't want to kind of cram everything that I might use in another area um,
I could do a chore layer here and separate it from this section. I Does that work? I don't really know. I don't really I'm not like a huge expert on it yet. So uh but we have you know how we can do some things here. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to uh add the grid size a little smaller and I'm going to Kind of make a rough rockiness to this. Just temporarily. And then we can kind of see how it looks afterwards. Uh, and we're going to use this one for this for now. My music stop looping. Loop music. And we're going to raise this up to maybe maybe one for now, and then we'll raise up this little section here. Make some croppings here. I'm not sure how to make the mask stop. Right? Like, how would I... Could do... I want I, I just want just here so I like I could temporarily do the sprites uh, so let's do this uh, then we'll do the this make it so it's not rotating and let's make this super big let's make this 124 actually just it's 128 this is double its size that look uh square smaller uh well you'll see in a minute what i'm kind of going with here some stuff looks absolute garbage until you kind of see four more steps ahead it, I, I think the best comparison, which is weird for me because I'm not a painter. I don't like painting, and I don't like painting because of this reason. Well, that was perfect. Wow, that was perfect sizing. We're just going to duplicate that. There's a better way I could have done that, but for now, we're good. Um... is uh, painting is all about layering, right? So when you're trying to paint, you have to add so many layers that it starts to look uh, the way you want it to look. And I hate that. I hate the concept of layering because if it doesn't look how I want it to right away, I don't like it. Uh, and that, but I, I conceptually am better at it with build. So it, it, it's just a strange, strange little little weird break in my brain that I, I'm okay with it for some stuff, but not others. Um, oh, did I make these one-sided? I did. At least I made this one one-sided. I don't want to do that. So I could make these a little wider. I think what I'll do is for now I'm gonna just the middle. 
Place these on the middle. And then go from there. And then what we can do is put a, like a, a little metal bar, I'm thinking. I'm going to probably end up changing all of this part because I, I, I'm not sure. I think I might do either, either a chore layer or some kind of masking. I'd say sector over sector, but I don't know if that would work for this. And I don't know if I really understand how to do it to say it should be done here. Uh, I want just that. That's just what I want. This. I have to break up that grid a little smaller just to fit it in. I'm gonna shrink that down. Go back. I'm gonna stick with that sizing for now. Uh, it should make the sand become small, small, small and, and then someone dies from it. it. Took me my whole life to realize instead of sketching a single line per angle for a drawing. I could just sketch it slowly, that way it becomes somewhat straight. Yeah. And then for me, I actually can draw straight lines by drawing faster. So if I go really fast, I'm better at straight lines. And if I go really slow, sometimes I can slow. Why is this one? Uh, so let's save for a little bit. No, I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to save. Uh, how are we doing for time? 41 minutes? Oh, I think we're doing pretty good. Yeah, it, everyone has their own kind of way of going around things. And some people's ways will be strange to others. I don't know how I'd make this blue. Like maybe I do have to do a chore layer to make this work because I want this underwater, right? And this would be not underwater. Uh, I'm thinking waterfall because they got a little water. Get some little waterfalls. But maybe we need to figure out what shape this back part's going to be. So let's break this up again. You know what? Like, why does this look better to me than this? Like this, this? That's one of the things. It's, it's all subjective, so it's trying to figure out what it is and then sometimes I'll build something and it looks fine here but then when I go back way here the angle might be off and I might not like it so it's a definitely a process I'm, I'm gonna put like a waterfall here that's why I'm gonna build this out a little we're gonna we're gonna raise this match this height for now Right. Probably gonna change that wall. Um, yeah, this be like a waterfall, right? Gonna add some waterfalls in there, um, which means I could probably break this section up a little bit more. Now that we have it broken up, I deselect alt. So let's. We're gonna raise this part up here. Uh, 
gonna turn locking on. Actually, you know what? I can put it right here. And we're gonna join these two sections up. Raise this up some more. Actually, let's do back. Raise this up. I'm using the control button. Just to raise it, like, I think it's four. Uh, just building out a little outcropping here. The water. There's a, there's a cool uh, skylight I have an idea for, too. That I want to start getting fleshed out. I think this is a little too wide. Yeah, I think I want to shrink this down a little bit. Like, I don't want to bring the water in too much. I want to bring in a little bit more, or cut off a little bit from these sides here. Um, because I, I don't want the, the store to be too, too big, because the fact is, with the high ceilings, it might look too empty, even with all the scenery. And I don't want to go too crazy with just sprite work to fill up the scenery. But the reason I'm doing an L is because you would do, uh, you'd come in, so you'd have your cashier section, so that would look different, and it would look indoors. And then you'd have this, once you get to this cutoff here, you'd start to go in and it slowly turns into like an outdoorsy section in the back. So I want there to be kind of a, a visual transition for that. Um, and then you would be drawn to the little little key card that's in here. So let's actually put a key card in here. I don't know what color we're going to have. So we're going to just put a placeholder. Maybe we'll put it, make it yellow or something. It isn't green or... Where's the key cards? Key card! Where are they? I know there's a find, isn't there? Isn't there? Is it Control F? What's the search button? Search. E. Oh, well, there's the card locks. I'd assume the key cards are around. Oh, there it is. Right there. Access card. That's what it's called. Um, so let's reset that. That looks like. A little big. I, I forget how big it is in game. Uh, let's change the palette of this one. Uh, matters considering it doesn't, let's just make it gray let's make it gray for now because i'm once it's in the water i might hate how it looks anyways so that's why I'm, uh transparent 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 current current's this a little bit more right so i want it to be a little bit more see-through so that we get more watery in us do i have to do a chore layer the real question. Still don't know. Okay. Well, whatever. We'll keep we'll keep flushing this out. Seeing how how it goes. Uh, let's increase the grid. The large. I keep things as large as possible while we're just figuring it out. Mm, so we want to cut off this area. So we'll make this smaller. What we'll do is actually cut this off now. Then we can kind of figure out how big we want by copying this guy again. Bring him over here. So we're going to have like arched ceilings here. Down the middle. 
might be good to, to kind of cut this in half. Two, three, four. It's down the middle. We're going to bounce around some areas a little bit. One, two. One, two. Sizing here. Kind of liking that idea. I'm in here. This area might be a little bit more open. Funnels it in a little bit. We'll have an in here out section. It doesn't have to be like super realistic, but you still have to conceptually make sense at a glance where you're like, okay, yeah, you would go in, you would shop, makes sense. Even though all the details wouldn't. So your door would be like right here. I'm gonna make it a completely new section. Then we can actually do this. This way we have a better cutoff. And just to visualize, what we'll do is we'll put blue. Be like, oh, that's not what I mean. Be like, that's outside. Just so you know, that's outside, okay? Uh, we're going to break this up here even more. Don't really know what we're doing yet. No, that's okay. And then we're going to delete this. Here's your entryways. On a little bit of a lip here too, or a bezel, if you will. Uh, uh, let's just visually see how this looks. There. Your little doorways here. Might want this a little higher and longer. Have a little store section here, so you'd have like a little cutout. So let's get rid of this for now. I think the problem is I'm still not happy with the size of this. Until I figure out its sizing, I will never be satisfied. Um, stealing and duplicating is always a great technique. So you mentioning your your friend and how you would steal and do very good idea. That's how we learn, after all. We learn because somebody else told us. We told ourselves. Uh, I want to do. I'm just completely separating this section just so I can manipulate it a little bit better. Um, Still looking a little wide to me. Like, I, I'm keeping in mind that some of this will be built out as well, so you'd still have a little bit of a ledge. So maybe I, I have to take that into account, that wasted space, because 
the way the Bass Pro Shops that I see here, they, they have like it all built up. Um, like they have it. Well, I guess there's a whole bunch of different kinds, so we're not really adhering to a different kind. We can start building the skylight. This will go in here, I think. This will be a good feature. And I, again, we want to we want to remind ourselves that there's an alien attack here. Um, now there's an issue with sector hierarchy. I haven't quite understood. Uh, wrapped my head around. This. I was going to not do the skylight now because I feel like it would ruin everything underneath it, but maybe we'll be fine. So I can do that, and then if I sector this, then it's fine, right? Yeah, I think this is big enough for what I want. Like that one. Uh, so let's make this into a sector, then we can do this, right? No, I can't, and I think that's because of the hierarchy. That's the thing I was worried about. Okay, so let's just delete, let's join these two, and worry about sector hierarchy, I guess. Or try to understand it as a concept, because I don't. So I can't do that, but I could do this. And then I could do this, right? And then it's okay. And then I can do this doesn't like that. Why doesn't it like that? What is wrong with that? Why don't you want to connect there? See, that's where I get a little lost. Like, why doesn't it like connecting that spot? What makes that one bad? Is it because it's just a little, it's just a little point? It's connecting a point to a point without a line? I do It would cause an inverted sector book. Um, so every once in a while, I'll draw stuff on a piece of grid paper or in, in paint. I have a, a grid set up on a, that I created in MS Paint. Not MS Paint, sorry. Uh, Paint.net. What was that? Just side view, make sure everything's looking fine here. Um... Three by three. By four. Uh, so these are just one. Which I'm going to anyway, so the end result is I'm going to get to exactly what it wants me to do, but it's just... It's just one of those things where I'm like, oh, why, why is it like that? Uh, so right now I'm building, there's going to be columns here. So if I describe what I'm doing here, uh, I'm going to insert a point here. What is happening here? What is what is this? What is this specifically? What are you doing? What are you doing that? It's so weird. Uh, we're gonna insert some points here because this is gonna be my little cool skylight I saw in one of the Bass Pro Shops. And pretty cool. So I'm gonna. It was like an octagon. In general, build doesn't like triangles much. And Silverman, come on. 
Uh, now the reason why is this is going to be like conceptually this would actually be these points right here would be down These would actually be down. Yeah, yeah. Then there's going to be like a little, little lip here. So what I was going to do is have. Is that bad? Like, should I not have done that? Because what I want to do is this. these to be circ like actually circular so maybe I'll change this a little bit but these would actually not be a thing these would be columns so that's why I'm thinking they'd be like this uh, the idea is build needs a double-sided wall somewhere to really associate coexisting sectors What I'm thinking about doing is joining these. I don't know if that would be a good idea. I join these two. Right, so like right now, I'm trying to think about doing this so I could save my ball limits here or uh, points and stuff. I, I don't know if I'll need it to, but deleting all those and joining these is that would that be bad? Other than this happening, I can fix that. Fix this. Um, this would be like one. this and just so you have an idea this would be the skylight here so this would be all sky and i could do that as a tr i'm thinking about probably doing that as a drawer maybe the actual sky part just like we did in the last one only because the detail i'm i'm, I'm thinking about doing is uh how should i describe this so you'd have a I guess I could just draw it for you. Right, can we copy this whole section here? I want to do this in a way... I'm just going to move this over here. Let's have a little copy of it just so we can, we can see what I mean. So like, here's your skylight, and the way they have it is you have your point here. That's your center. And then we just connect all these pieces. And then we would have beams going down that skylight. I'm going to flip over so you guys see it, but we have like little beams 
which I would probably actually do just as sprites instead. So I wouldn't bother to do... It's really these beams that would throw me for a loop. So I'm I, like I'm thinking it would be pointed, right? So if we were to change this to just say, I don't know, like this. Or it is glass, so let's let's do this. Right, so I'm thinking if we did if we did it like glass, it's gonna be this is your first wall. Alt F. First wall, first wall, first wall, first wall, first wall, first wall, first wall. Maybe it would be easier if I made a little square here for them to connect to. Anyway, so can I do all these at once? That'd be cool. Kind of pointless. Okay, so let's let's alternate these. Just so we can see it better. Then you'll understand maybe more what I mean. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three, one, three, one, three, one. Three, one. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, now they're not gonna match 100% because there's some vertice issues, but so it'd be kind of, kind of like that. It's no need. Uh, kind of like that. Be one more, and you'd have girder beams going across. So this would probably not be the best texture choice for it. Maybe I was thinking like something with lines that we would do. I would go across here. So you'd have like a little beam. Kind of like, kind of like this. Experimental stage. Yeah. And the idea is if you were to insert another one of these guys, insert, and we were to angle it. If I want to do the rotate tool, the part. Like this is really rough way of showing you what I mean. Because I'm trying to see if I would, would I want to do this out of sectors to add the detailing for this? Or would it be better if I built this out of sprites for certain aspects? Um, I don't know. I don't know. So I'm going to highlight the sprites only.
re highlight it. Messed it up a little bit. Like that. They're all highlighted. Now I can page up. Right, so that would be like a little girder kind of thing. I don't know if that's the exact effect I'm after. Just to break it up, you'd see the sky, and these would have lines going. Across. I might, you know, what I might need. Uh, I might do this a completely different way. But that's what I'm thinking, is it would be kind of like peaked. And... I'm just thinking how I would do this with the Duke's textures. You'd have another row. Here. And you could break it up even further by connecting these little chunks, but I don't want to have like a thousand masks or uh, sector walls here. Oh well. Okay, we'll, 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 we'll sleep on that for a little bit, but that, that's conceptually, this is what I'm thinking here for the ceiling. They have it as a... So for now, we're, we're just going to throw some stone on. Maybe we'll, we'll change it after. stone I'm after. I'm after like a plaster. I thought there was a plaster. And like a unwallpapered wall. I thought I saw it in like Ducard. Might be better just to eventually change the palettes on some of the stuff to get the textures we're after. But I'm not quite at that stage. Do that maybe. That. Not that. Not that. That's the one I'm thinking of, but I don't like that darkness underneath. That didn't end. Like those. I'll just go with this for now. You know what? I'll go with this for now. I don't think the green. I think the green might work okay-ish. Because all this stuff is temporary textures, anyways. I feel. I thought you didn't like it based on your looks, so I was like, oh, I'll give you the other one. It's not that I can last. I did not. No, that was yesterday. I was cleaning up McDonald's. Yeah, I was cleaning up your McDonald's. Uh, I'll sort of make a little... Yeah, I was kind of trying to make sure I, I could... I did this thing. Uh, I was trying to make. Yeah, I was trying to make sure I could get everything ready here instead. Like I always wanted to do. Alright. Uh, so. uh, I don't know. I. 
Uh, no tickets. I don't know if we are sitting by them now, because they're very confusing when they're telling me. But they said, oh, we have different seats, but now they're like, oh, there's four of us. And now they're, so I'm like, that mean? We might be sitting with them? I don't know. I, I don't know, unfortunately, because their their communication is very strange. They're like, oh, we have seats, and then we got better seats, and now, but I'm like, did my uncle upgrade and get us all the same seats, or better, or closer? Very confusing. Uh, we're gonna make a little outcropping here. Or how's the? the the key card but we just want it i want it to have a little bit of a little bit of height you know to visually stand out a bit more Still thinking this might be a little too wide, but again, if we're gonna bring out this section here and out to the wall, maybe it won't look as noticeable. And then maybe it's just like this should be bigger and the sides should not. Because um, even this, that we're kind of building here. Are they what's gonna be like the skylight here? So you go out here. I feel like that's these bars are too close to this entrance. So we should expand this entrance, I think it longer. And make a little lip here. I don't know. Oh. Ask yourself. I, I haven't even seen it. Kind of what I'm after width wise on this side, so yeah, I think we're we gotta bring in this, but then we gotta be super careful because we're gonna mess everything up. Do it. That's kind of the width I'm after, maybe. I don't know if it's going to work for a trap at this narrow, because I want Duke to have to dive down to get the key. Which means this would either have to be taller. So that Duke would have to dive down deeper.
raise this temporary glass yeah i think i might have to do this as like as a drawer i don't know how i'm going to pull off this being underwater the way i want uh Yeah, that height looks fine for the water, right? And what we could do too is if, if this was higher, we could kind of slant this, I'm thinking, so it draws you in a little bit more. I don't think you really need to draw it, but it would just also make it so I don't have to do a, a, some other stuff back here. If you don't Man, the, the, the just sheer ridiculousness of me being not confident in just this, the, the width. It's, it's getting the shape and size of the play area that just feels so difficult because then I, I, I don't want to add more so much detail that you couldn't move around. Because, uh, like, I want this to be kind of, in the last, like, 50 seconds here, uh, to be closed off, kind of, so we'd have... This... Well, and maybe sector over sector would work here. I just, I don't know if I'm confident enough to know how it worked to do it, right? So, uh, like, I'm not sure. How I would do, because like, I want, this would be underwater. And you would dive under here, and the idea is that the top would close, so you couldn't you couldn't get back up top. Maybe that's all I can do. Pop, pop open this level design book I have sitting on my shelf, or the in, info design suite, and, and read up on it instead of just assuming. But it, it's because in my mind, I was like, oh, I just make it high, and then make this make this blue. Uh, and then, then we're A-OK. -okay. Uh, I know the timer's up, but we're going to... I just want to raise these, match this. Because then we could have the rock... Uh, so, like, you would step on it by going up here. So, like... Just for now, we're gonna. We're not. Because those were selected, we're gonna. gonna... Make this a little walking path for now.
way, but I think for now, I think I'd probably hop up there through that. Yeah. I think that gets the point across, maybe. They could do it. I'd probably break it up a little bit for the sides. So, like... Maybe... Maybe... Uh, no. Every other one? This one would be one. This one would be one. This one would be one. Yeah, maybe something like that. Like, kind of break it up a little bit. Um, not that I need it, but we'll, we'll, like we'll focus on the, the texturing and stuff later because like this isn't even the shape yet. Um, then this would be just for fun. I like to turn this all blue underwater, but I don't want to do that right now. Uh, we'll take a look at it in game. Let's do that. We'll see how that works. And then we'll sw flip over and start working on the ma uh, like playing the actual let's play. But you're you're right. I think I got a, a good idea here. I might work on a little bit of uh, doodling afterwards. Not in the editor. I'm trying to make sure that any editing work for the level I only do on stream, where like doodles and stuff like that. I'm I'm trying to do more of now. So I did briefly yesterday. I wrote down a bunch of ideas. Um, I did draw some stuff out for this, actually. Nothing fancy, right? But actually, I'll, I'll show you what I drew. It was nothing. It was pretty much what we just did. Almost exactly. Um, it, it, yeah, it was just this. All it was is it was just me trying to figure out. Okay, well, you go in, you go in here. I want this 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 weird skylight looking thing, and you got your water here. And you'd have your key card right here. And this would be here. And like that, that's all I drew, right? So I, it's not not like we did a ton. Did I save it? I hopefully I did. I guess we'll find out. Come get some. Uh, so we're gonna DN crows this, DN clip, because we have to go in show map. We want to go to the store. Uh, so height wise, I think this is fine for like a checkout. Maybe when we start filling it out, it'll be a little too crowded. Um, maybe a little too wide. The whole idea of the Bass Pro, though, is it's such a big and wide open store in general, so I feel like you have to still have that wideness feeling. Uh, this is too way too long. This is way too long. I definitely way too long. Because um, it's not, like, supposed to be a huge, giant area. It's just supposed to look cool. I think this 
is a neat idea once we have it set up but the problem is I, as much as i like this unless this room itself is bigger or we shrink this a little down I like the size of that so maybe i won't and maybe this room would be a little bit bigger so just like a little bit more square around here and then it would funnel back into a tighter section down here with this so we would bring in this i was thinking the idea is once you get in here, you would see the water. You would know where to go right away. So I, I this is too far for the visibility. You know what? I'm pretty sure I can change the visibility to um, outside of settings. I mean, in the editor. Uh, can I jump on this? Yeah. So getting up here pretty easy. So I think that's the idea. None of this would not do that. This would cop out and go a little bit along this side. We have like a little inlet here with a store of some kind. Not a, like a store, but a, a kiosk. I was trying to avoid doing uh, like Bass Pro Shop does have guns. Um, but I didn't know if I wanted to do that here because I, I might have a dedicated weapon section, like a weapon store, because then I could do something else with that. Because I had this idea of you going to try to restock weapons because Duke lives here, so he would, in theory, know, even though the player wouldn't. So he would be going and he would see the weapon shop in the mall and go up to it, and the shutters would like slap down because an alien's already in there and they sabotaged it or, or trying to get weapons themselves, tripping the security system and putting it in lockdown so you wouldn't be able to get the weapons. Um, and maybe that's like a little secret to get into there, right? Um, but I don't know if I'd want to put that in the Bass Pro Shop. Maybe it would, instead of putting it in the mall itself. It would make more sense here. But then I don't know if I would do it as... I don't know if I could make it kind of fit the theming, right? Um, but yeah, you'd go in here and get the key card. <laughs> right now you can't. And then you'd have to escape here, so there'd be like some coral or something you have to shoot out and swim underneath, and then we connect back into the uh, area that gets into the mall. So you'd have a way out. I didn't want a back entrance into the mall as well, so like this would lead outside of the mall, kind of where you're at, and the pond would be outside here or something, like in between. Um, but yeah, maybe not having it connected to the mall directly and instead just have that shortcut instead. We'll figure it out. We can always add a shortcut later, like put a little door here or something. Right? Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. I, I, I'm going to... I'm trying to think of more unique ideas of things you would do in individual stores. So, uh, like I mentioned the toy one where you get shrunk down and have to fight off a little alien. Just some kind of unique set piece or something unique about that area to make it interesting and uh, flesh out the idea that this is a mall that we're going to be traveling in. Um, so yeah, I think that's, uh, that's about it for the mapping portion. I didn't get as much done as I always think I will. <laughs> I was hoping at least I would get this not functioning, but actually, yeah, I did. I thought I would at least have the water working, but then I realized uh, it wouldn't be a good idea. Because even if it's a chore layer that I do, um, I'd, I'd have to have this well planned out in terms of the size and dimensions and shape before I would do that as a chore. Um, where CK3D is right, I think maybe I should read up on sector over sector because this would also be a good way to do a sector over sector if this would work for this, is figuring it out and doing it here so that we could have, again, a little bit of different th techniques used throughout the map to show uh, pros and cons of it. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I do apologize. I, I don't mean to, but maybe I, I do if I apologize too much, but yeah, we're not making as much progress because sometimes I stare at things and I'm, I'm thinking internally of how I want it to shift and I don't know how much that translates on video, right? Especially if you, you don't see it. Um, like, I'm always fine with what I do, but I, I, from a visual, from a or I'm like, enough? Does that feel like it was enough in an hour? Because I can do a lot more in an hour. Um, but that it's it's just... 
don't want to do so much and it looks like I did a much and then it just doesn't work and then I have to undo it all because that's how I felt when we did the uh, the skylight we did so much test work on that skylight and it worked great but now it's like okay well I don't have the rest of the room fleshed out enough so I'm gonna have to move this change in and redo it all anyways so I, I don't want to kind of go into that folly um, so I'm just kind of hoping that it makes sense that as you see the progress every week you'll start to see these little added layers and additions to understand that yeah it's, it's for at least me it's it's kind of growing it's like a little plant um, but at least we have a vague plot now of what's going to happen on the map and I already did we're getting to a UFO I, I have an idea of how we're, it's going to start I have an idea of where we're going to go uh, it's just the connecting dots of like why we need to do all this extra stuff to get there not that I think it's super important like you, you can just have fun playing something but I do like to have some logical lore or something in the background for those who want to um yeah, and that's why I stress too when I'm I'm showing off the editor that man, it really is that simple to just build. Like, I know I'm taking a while to build some some stuff that doesn't look extremely complicated, but that's also because I'm thinking about other things in advance um, down the line that I know if I I, I kind of build something this way, it's going to cause some problems down the road. But in terms of just building something, like you, you can really just build a street relatively easily. It's, it's, there's a lot of stuff that's very easy to build. Um, and then there's everything else that I would like to do. Hello, Music Monster. Game design? Uh, kinda, yeah, kinda. That's what we do every, for first hour, I don't wanna say hour of the stream, but we do an hour solid of mapping, uh, but maybe two hours or so of it when we combine it is, is game design as we try to figure out okay well what do we want to do in this area that we're building out uh, uh, how do we want to, this map to form yeah well that's the thing is for me it's fine but for, for somebody if I'm trying to if you're trying to like entice somebody into level editing would that turn somebody off when they're like man I just want to I, 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 I want to build a house real quick you could now I think those people that do want to build things real quick or like they're after quick results because we live in a world where, like me where I'm ADD uh, is the once you get into it you understand why stuff needs to take a while and why st sometimes you'll take a while building up something more um, but you kind of I, I don't want people to ever get turned off thinking it's hard to build things because it, it isn't really it's it's just there are specific ideas or visions to get to there that can be more difficult to plan out, let's say, um, or to wing if you don't have a solid plan in advance. But if you just want to go in and start building some stuff, I, I really do like this editor. Like, I, I think it's just a fun editor to play around in. Um, But yeah, so that's where we left off. We're our little Bass Pro Shop uh, experiment here. So in case you're just joining us now, that's kind of what we're building. I'll give you a little idea. I, I summarized this in the beginning of the stream, but I'll, I'll do it again now real quick. So we have an idea to cap this off. So we're building this little mall here. Um, didn't realize I built this so far away for this explanation. Um, so we built this little mall here, or we are, and which one's got it? Is that the, is that, is got it engine? That, that's not the Dark Forces one, is it? I definitely know that name. Uh, so when you, so we have this, like, little storefront here. And we have our water fountain. So the idea is we can't go into the mall. And uh, here's how we're gonna how this map's gonna go so far. So Duke is in his penthouse suite in an apartment complex. Is what I'm thinking about doing. And he gets abducted by aliens. And we have a brief little pistol only combat section section in a uh, spaceship. Uh, so we can have some fun little alien designs there. 
and Duke is wreaking havoc on this alien spaceship. It's not a large, large section. It's a little bit. There's a little secret set area. I think I have an idea. And we end up um, causing so much damage that they either spit us out or we uh, escape. But whatever happens, we get knocked out out of the uh, spaceship, crash land somewhere or like land and get knocked out unconscious so that we wake up several hours later to justify why the city still is under an alien invasion and do like why everybody's maybe dead or have some destruction, some, some environmental storytelling. And so when Duke wakes up, he has to go back to the apartment that he is at his penthouse because the alien ship has stalled in above the mall because it can't lift off because of how much damage she's done. And he wants to go finish the job and blow up the alien spaceship. So he has to go all the way into the mall, but the mall is locked, so he can't get in. But he needs to get in the mall because that's how he's going to get up to the penthouse that's going to be above here. So to get in here, you would go into the water right now, and uh, you would go in here, and then you pop out of the water fountain. And that's how we get inside the mall. However, what we're going to be changing a little bit here is, so we were like, well, what is this? Why is this here? One, this is temporary, like all this design stuff. So it's just conceptually like we know we're going to go in the water. So this is going to be outside the Bass Pro Shop because it makes sense. It's not going to be a Bass Pro Shop. It's going to be, I'm saying that as a reference because that's a good visual, but it's going to be like Duke inspired. So instead of having mounted heads of animals, it's going to be aliens, for example. Um, and so this will be out there and you'll go into the, the Bass Pro Shop will be a key carded store. So you'll have to you get a key card to get in there. Uh, and there's going to be a shortcut inside uh, the where you get this. Where we just were. I'm not going to fly all the way back here. Actually, do I have steroids? I could, I could do this. Let me do this. Oh man, that's super far. Never mind. Never mind. I should have dragged that closer. I didn't know it was that far away. Um, yeah, so you'll go into that key card section, go in there, uh, cause some rabbit, and it'll link back into this pool. So you'll have a shortcut back here or something. Um, and yeah, that's the idea. So we'll have that. I have a few other store ideas. So I, I mentioned that I have a concept of you would go into that toy store and I showed that Nickelodeon one, but it's not going to be Nickelodeon. It's probably Babeland or something. And that you would get shrunk down into a miniature of uh, Hollywood Holocaust. And uh, I'm saying Red Light District, the first two levels. Um, but they're simplified miniature versions. And there'd be like an alien shooting down the street, but like a jumbo alien because he's not shrunk down. And it would all be fake how I would pull this off. I, I have an idea where instead of... So what like the laser that he shoots, it would really be a subway car if you want to think about it, that just flying really fast. And that would squish Duke if he gets hit. But that's the idea is you'd have to dodge this laser by kind of ducking in between little miniatures that Duke travels through. Um, why? I don't know. Other than he got shrunk down. I did have an idea where to get he has to go inside the alien to grab something. And then he expands and kills the alien. But finding a oh, stupid, silly way to do it in the build engine. So I'd have to do silent teleports and trickery and stuff like that. Um, but that might be too complex. So I'm mentioning it might be too complex, right? So, uh, but I want a little memorable thing in uh, these little stores that we're going to travel. Through. So that's what we're doing. That's what we did so far. Um, I'm going to do... Actually, I have to go back over there for a screenshot. So... So we'll, we'll build quick houses. Those who want to be impressive, build impressive houses. Yeah, but e e I think it's for me. It's just I want to I want to show people that both methods are possible because I actually like maps that are both uh, in detailed, like in terms of people doing incredible sector and sprite work to make something that looks way more complicated than the build engine should pull it off. And then I like people who just kind of make some simple stuff and uh, 
you know, it just, it's just fun to play. I think both styles are effective and work out really well. And it's just a situation of which one works best for, for you. Uh, but I don't want to be, I, I'm one of those detail people who I just like kind of seeing how, how complex, not, I don't want to say how complicated I can make something, but I like to see how much I can push this simple engine to make something that looks complicated just for fun. Cause I think that's just interesting to me. Um, but I don't want to turn people off that also want to do the simple stuff. Cause you can do both. So I'm trying to strike a balance here a little bit. Um, Yeah, I'm just trying to, so that's why I'm trying to plan things out a little bit more. So at least even I'm doing stuff like this, maybe I'm a little bit more streamlined. I do think some unplanned stuff is fun too, but uh, it's, it's constantly iterating upon itself. So let me do a quick little... post here uh, and then I'm going to be doing a brief break here for like five maybe ten minutes just to use the bathroom grab a refreshment if you want to grab a refreshment and then I'll come back and we'll do the uh, let's play for Star Nukem's well first of all, we'll do the readme but of a nuclear plant I'm actually excited for this one I that's like this is one of my I don't want to say it's my favorite doom map but it's I think one of the ones that I have very fond memories of. You think the first map is, and I definitely do like that one, but I, I do think this map is, because it's a little bit longer, is where I'm like, yeah, that's that's pretty doom. And I think I know a majority of the secrets. The only thing I, I don't know is, is in the original Doom, that armor that you see. Is there even a way to get that? I don't remember if there was, because I keep remember it's one of those things that I don't remember if there was rumors that you could get it, or was there just a mess with you. I just don't remember at the start. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll show you guys if it's here too. Uh, but maybe he made it so you could get there. So many screenshots I need to organize. Maybe retake some would be a better way than that. Uh, 
hamster. Alright everybody, so give me five minutes, ten minutes top, I'm probably not that long to be honest. Um, bathroom, secondary beverage here, and uh, then we shall be back with a little let's play here. Well, we'll probably do the read me first, obviously, because that's how we start off. Um, Five, ten minutes. I'll be in chat though, so you can feel free to ask any questions. Map or mapping? Probably not the answer though.
conversation.
Hey, everybody. I should probably post my tweet to advertise my stream after I get back from break instead of probably before I go on break so that when people click the link and come into the stream, even though I say I'm going to be on a little bit of a break, they don't just see it be right back screen. You're like, what? Right here. Did I come to this? Range for voting, please. Um, but I, I hey, appreciate all the support, for everybody, for, for the map building. Uh, I personally, I, I try not to discourage myself. You know, it's a little harsh, maybe. I'm just very overly critical, which is uh. Sometimes for myself. Second, yes. That. Uh, so this is. I, th I think this is the first map we played by uh, Dennis Collins, uh, also known as Star Okay. Uh, so. <laughs> Uh, Eduke 32 compatible, later, latest version required. Uh, with Polymost or Polymer rendering. Um, I don't have the latest version installed right now. Um, I am currently using. Well, actually, I don't know how to date. What a date I am. Version is out now. Oh, that's super recent. That's today. The today version. I'm using one from September of last year. Um. What version do they call this one? Minor complications for the, by the same monster. I was about to ask if he had other maps because I don't think I saw anything in this README when I was looking it up. As far as on the uh, EA Duke site, uh, latest version required. Uh, so I'm going to use the September version I have installed now because I did open the game and nothing happened. Um, I know CK3D tested this, so if, if anything looks weird, let me know, and, and I'll, I have no issues downloading the new version if I need to. But I just don't want to make another. I, I think I have like 12 versions now of E Duke, and I, I, I just need to clean up my computer. 
I'm terrible. You do because it's taken over my computer. Like, it's because it's so small. I'm like, nah, user maps, they take up a lot of room. Well, they do when you keep copy and pasting a thousand versions of uh, Silly me. Uh, Doom, the iconic early 90s FPS, brought to us a relic of the game but that withstands the test of time. However, not all levels are remembered quite like E1 M1 Hangar. With all the love that goes to Hangar, I've hardly seen anyone talk about the sub second level, which in my opinion was... I agree! I agree! The second level is arguably better. I understand why the first level is iconic, because it's the first thing you see, so obviously, first impressions. Uh, but that's a really good second impression, that second level. That's when, like, the first one really does feel like you're just getting your footing. You just need to understand how to move, what what you're doing. Because then the second one, you're like, now you got key cards. It adds a layer. Um, that's why I've decided to take on the challenge of recreating a map. I up using an old version of E1M2 that I'd created two, three years ago. I've since reimagined the way that nuclear plant would look in the year 2024, the year this map's release. Adding subtle new puzzles and challenges that enhance the level while maintaining everything that was great about the original. Step into Doom's nuclear plant through the eyes of Duke Nukem with Maddie's and Bullets 4 in the 2024 reimagined classic enemies. Good little intro. book with me now because I keep having random ideas and then I'm like oh, I'll remember them and then I, you never remember them so I decided and you think I'd put it into my phone but then last night I had an idea when I was walking my phone died but I got these little notebooks uh, maps now, the only thing is trying to remember to use them you know, build them into the routine Like, this map isn't that long, like the original. This is reimagining, so maybe it'll take more. Especially me. Where I really try to savor it for the first time. And then you try to do something different with it the next time you play it. Challenge is there. Okay, so now I got a little bit for appointments and stuff like that but especially with me my whole idea is i'm trying to uh do more and one of the things the, the doctor's like well how about you write down what you actually do because i bet you, you do more than you think because that's a common trait for my yeah you actually do more you just don't kind of acknowledge it. yes yes adding subtle new puzzles abstract map time to complete uh, and... Well, he says it's five, five, ten minutes. I do know the layout. I think I know most of the secrets in this, too. Uh, granted, he might do new ones. Pretty. hundred or so. Five secrets. Oh, that's nice. But how many secrets is... Cracking some stuff for maps. And I have to keep loading up all the maps and figuring out how many secrets they are. Because it's not like it's in the notepads all the time. Oh, also... A lot of old maps just never had secrets. I wonder if that was like a choice or they just didn't know at the time. I wasn't around. Look out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I was not even reading this. There are even secrets within the map that aren't mentioned or credited. So don't be afraid to note DN clip around. Well, we do that traditionally anyways at the end of the map. So, uh, But I do try to find all the secrets. That's going to make it more complicated. Uh, there are even secrets with... Uh, also try looking for five switches that unlock the super secret. Oh my god. Super secret hidden in level. To find them, but they are hidden well, so be on the lookout. Don't be afraid to get your feet wet. Is 
take some time and it was a scratch. I began working on this map. I went back in 2021. Production was uh, going great until the passing of my mother, which uh, started development level for a year and a half. However, I'm happy to finally be bringing this map to fall today. My mother would have been happy to see this map release as she was with every map I've created. Uh, she was a huge supporter, despite knowing so little about Duke Season of level design as a whole. Shout out to mom. Uh, didn't try. <laughs> Make attention, just no crashes. Oh, it does have deathmatch and uh, cooperative support. Like, I don't play those, but I do like that it would happen. Um, because maybe it would one day, you know? Let's load up the map here. Let's, Let's cut that music hard. I don't read if it said a new art or anything. I don't think it does. I think we're we're dealing with some OGness here. And because we're using like newer Eduke, it's not gonna crash on us. So that's what happened last stream. Another map. I do want to play that map, by the way. Uh, maybe we'll do that after this, uh, depending on the time. I do have somewhere I have to be at, like, that's like seven or eight. I think I have to be at seven. So, like, we have time. Five hours from three to four. Uh, but maybe I'll do minor complications as well. Oh, uh, I have to turn. Polymos. We'll do Polymos for now. Um, unless something says Polymer specifically because the lighting changes that happen. My other headphone on here. I think this music. Oh, this is Doom. It's the Doom music. The remix. So this is this is what I played. This is this is as far as I got. I saw some tubes though. I, I did like these tubes. So I gotta remember to look for some switches. Save game going. Just in time? Yeah, that's, a, that's pretty good timing. Gonna become a problem. I always like aliens and tubes. Just oh, so well together. I'm gonna take them up. I like. I like this. That's some nice. That's yeah, a good remix. Cheating if I know the secrets already for at least the original new one. Okay, switches. I'm assuming a switch will still look like a switch. Like this. Well, let's not hit that yet, actually. Let's, uh, oh, do I have messages on? That's the area where the soul sphere is it? 
Is that where that would be? And we get the blue key card or whatever key card would be here. Yeah, there's the key card area. Yeah, I like these uh, these renditions of it. Found one. Okay, so they're numbered. Do I want to do that? Yeah, let's do that. Nice, okay. I just didn't know if we were, like, airlock would suck a bunch of stuff out. Didn't know if we were going to change things a little bit. Oh, I like this. Whoa, 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 come down there. So this is... This is the one I'm talking about where the armor was there. Like, could you get that in the original Doom? I still am, like... Little. I want to shoot that yet? I want to wait to shoot that. Uh, I like this. I do like this as well. That's it's a nice little additional depth and layering. That's what really makes this stuff feel 3D and get pulled off really nicely. I like these tubes as well. Oh, is that what we're doing here? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Ah, oh, I like that. Eight. Little little jump they're doing. Out of curiosity, is there a reason that happens? Like, from a building perspective? See this little teleport jump that it's doing? Is it moving to a different sector? That isn't in the same... Are you gonna drop that, buddy? Am I full on... Oh, I'm full on armor. I didn't know that. atomic health I would like and uh, like I, I will take the pistol ammo we'll take it yeah no got a little I got a little twicky Twitchy. on a conveyor it will always position to the middle of the conveyor I think that's it. Right? I don't think there's anything else. There's a key card. Oh, that's real nice. That key card goes that as well. That's nice. Some lighting here. I like these little uh, wall details. Um. I played a little bit of, uh, is it Sulaco? That's, a uh, 2.5D? Like, I think it's the Doom Engine. I played the first episode of that. I get similar vibes, visually. I like the choice of doing different... There's, like, a little hole here. Nice little detail. The direct center of the sector, if I made that pickup spot a giant 1000-1000 sector, it would teleport the item to a dead center of that sector. I like this breakup too, of using this marble, and then adding the techno stuff that's very, very doomish. I'm actually kind of surprised how well... Um... You can kind of make this doomish. Like, it's still, it still is very Duke. But I'm actually surprised the stock assets actually fill that gap with a comparable spot of a, of a way. I, I know there's items up here. I 
I like that. I like this layering. And I like the idea of a secret... There's some secrets that aren't secrets kind of thing. It's a nice looking door, too. Oh, and then there's those. That, that kind of is a secret. Oh, even in here you got like all this, all this layering. I don't think maps, by the way, have to have a bunch of sprite work uh, for fun details. But get it. I also just think it's fun as well. There's no right way to build. I don't think there's a wrong way, because half the wrong way is how we will trick the engine into doing things. I still feel like I want to do a second look, just to make sure... I do like building stuff out of sprites now. Uh, I remember my original intent when I was playing around with the uh, mapster was I was going to do all sectors because I didn't understand the concept of using... Like, I, I knew sprites could be used to decorate, but I didn't know <laughs> it could be used so extensively. So, or that the engine encouraged it to a certain degree with the uh, modern enhancements. Uh, there are five buttons hidden throughout this map that unlock a super secret. Let's see. Um, well, I can't go in there. Uh, so then, when CK3D... I think he's just started pointing out stuff that was sprites. Um, then I started building a lot more sprite stuff. Yeah. How to position them or anything. Yeah. Oh, especially once she learns those tricks with the rotating sprites. Uh, like, I, I don't do a ton of stuff where I've... Or now knowing you can type properly, like, just type and actually have those sprites pop up as letters, like how we're doing here. Instead of positioning them all manually. Because I definitely did position all mine manually. I'm so glad I didn't do a ton of stuff where I required um, words, because that would have been painful. Um, okay. I'm just trying to see if there's anything... So I'm just do doing a double check. Once you mention Super Secrets, I'm going to now spend a lot of time looking in the same area a lot while walking and missing if that means anything oh 666 I like that little that little do me reference there well demonic I like this crack uh we need toilet ducks map last week and he had stuff uh secret hidden in a little ledge a trawler layer, so kind of thing there. But there is a lot of, not a bad way, blocking, it seems. Remember that opening? Maybe I'm thinking of something else. I remember there's some, like, revisions that some dude maps went through, and I can mix some of them up. Alright, let's go to the other rooms. What 
sneaky guy. I don't know if activating these guys was a good idea, actually. Yeah, I don't know if that was a good idea. I should have done this one. Yeah, I should have done this differently. I'm gonna make it work. Let's see that atomic health. There. Oh, we got some assault troopers coming in. Well, now we got a shotgun at least. Okay. Wow, oh, some nice little. That's cool. Look at that Devastator sprite as a as a little base. Oh, you got them blocked off up there. Or... Oh, that's cool. Sprite work is in DOS build used to be super tedious with minuscule individual adjustments. Map strip is yeah, I I have heard how, uh, and I did used to dabble with the old build editor. I mentioned I've just really built concrete slabs, and that's all I was ever capable of doing. Um, this door, these little switches, this atomic health that I'm gonna grab. <laughs> Hi, how you guys doing? Okay, I'm gonna. Let's take out these guys. Does this close this? Uh, and then we're gonna come back out here. I just wanna do this through, straight through there. Well, now what are you gonna do? Now what are you gonna do? Absolutely nothing. Oh, they're immortal up there. All right, well, they've chosen their fate. Like these little screens. Interesting. Come back with explosives? Okay, come back with explosives. Oh, unless you meant for them. Uh... Okay, let's grab... It's really good music. Did you curve that? Oh, no, you didn't. You just used these. It's a nice little... I just like that little to break that up. It's nice. Alright, I'll come back with explosives. That's also one I'll take a peek out there, too. Um, oh, I like that they're CRT monitors. That's nice. It's got the red key card. up there. Uh, oh, I can't go out there. I'm okay with that. Uh, did we try to go on the other one? Is there another one over here? No, there's not. Um, anything in these? I just want to Make sure I'm not missing anything. Can I jump up there, you wonder? Can I jump up there? This will give me the height I would need. Not saying that's the right way, I'm just curious. Oh, nice placement, nice placement. Sometimes I wish I could push that. 
playing a lot of Enter the Gungeon. I'm like, I just discovered I can push barrels. Played a thousand million hours of that game. Oh, that did the force shield. Like, all, every time you do stuff like this, or a tile, love it. Uh, the area up near the chain gun ammo connects to the super secret message in the beginning. Can't tell, but it actually connects. Uh. That opens. That's my face. I was like, if that opens, then we got some Troar going on here. Right now, I don't know. Can I grab this? Ah, boots. Okay. I like that little face mat there. I get up there. Looks like there's a doomer in there or something. Uh. Must be up here? No. But I'm glad I got up here. Hmm. Okay. What did that do, I wonder? I can't go up there. Maybe I can blow up some of those. I'm back there. I'm not quite sure I know what that, uh, that switch does yet. That's not good. Oh, that's not good. Do I want to deal with that now? I guess. That one's broken. to the eggs. Probably like all in here. That's exactly what's happening. Hi everybody. What? I'm trying to shoot the that did not help at all. Uh, okay. 
it's not as fun. Yeah, and I, I like these little optional sections. Well, I'm not saying this section specifically, but the uh, like the claw game, how you turn that into a little game. I like that. Um, still a lot to see, but I'm getting pulled in all directions here, so I like how the eggs are telling me secrets of where to go. Where are they? Oh, there's a button in there. I think. Oh, no. I think that's like really messing with me here. Oh, some of these can't be broken, so you can jump up there, I'm assuming. Pushing me around now. Interesting way to do this section here. Another thing I liked. Still don't know what the duck switch does yet. Don't spoil it for me yes. yet. I feel like I'm uh, still on a roll here. Nice. I like how you did that. I like how you can use it. That's so nice. That's adorable. I like all this too. What does that do? So that opens that door. Open a panel to, to a switch you that's true. It did, it did do that. It was too random, honestly, but in the end, it threw on me. Duck switch. Yeah, I, I, I should say, I know what the duck switch does in terms of it opens to that, but I don't know what that... Sir, I don't remember what that does. I know that that wasn't the original Doom, right? Like that cylinder switch? Is that how you were to get the chainsaw? Second guessing myself now. Where is this? Oh. I haven't been checking for switches. Just there's like so many little details to to draw my attention that I kind of forget. Oh. Like even these little side areas, look that. Reminds me of when you can't go into buildings, but you can see a little bit uh, in the windows. Oh, yeah, that's one. Is that really how you got in here in Doom? Oh, yeah, it was just a... Uh... But it wasn't like a secret. The duck makes it feel like a secret. Maybe we should go back and replay the original Doom. In a while. I don't know if I want to blow that up. I like this idea, where this is like the, the front of this. Interesting way to interpret that. Well, I can go up here. Hmm. Oh, you made the light curve too. Look at that. That's, that's a good point. That's a good point. But anyways, I'm impressed about this little tiny sloped uh, sprite here. Just a funny little, funny little detail. Like, unless you're like, I, that's a thousand sprites and I spun them all around. You're a madman. Okay, let's switch. Yeah, I can definitely see the expanded part that you're doing. I like this. It's real nice. 
This reminds me of, um, there's a, sorry, I'm going to give you a, a visual reference. I'm not going to just tell you a story. It's not that amazing either, so. Uh, Fine, I'll do it the old-fashioned way. I gotta enlarge this. I know it's... What else am I gonna... So there's this, like... In the Duke Nukem Advance game, they had... For a brief period of time, reflective surfaces in the game. So they had an experiment where they had a Coke machine that was leaking. And this is what you're seeing on screen. Um, anyways. I just don't know when I'd ever I'd be able to whip out that bit of cut content trivia for the world other than to say this leaky water reminds me of that. Or I guess blood. I'm assuming these would be blood packs. Since this is a medical facility. So this one's red. I just wonder if the color means something that's important. Is that a reference? Is there going to be a button in here, I wonder? It's not in Duke Nukem Advance, they did cut it, probably because performance, considering that game can run pretty shitty. It makes me wonder if they had a little bit more time. Even though they did have more time, because it was delayed. What what could have been? Uh, okay, I think I'm done in here for now. For now. I still think it's strange that this is a different light. But maybe that's my brain trying to find something. blow stuff up. I, I just don't know. Do like this. This hall of uh some nice little fun details here. A nice little corner piece right there. Okay. An order. Can I jump in here? Uh, that's supposed to be broken? to say yes. 
Did you? No, that pipe's already like them. Yeah, yeah, there's already a sprite texture like that. Just uh, double checking. Not a door. Oh, I didn't even know that was glass. I like the shapes of these, these little, little pieces. Well, it is. There you go. Uh, granted, I am running a slightly version, older version of E.D. Uh, September. So maybe blame that. Oh, I like this. Oh, that's nice. That's colors, supplies. I don't know if I'm missing something here yet. I haven't tried actually interacting with all these. Done here. That's cool. I always like when you have little things like that where you can see other rooms. This little detail. Wow, you really uh, took this maze thing in a different direction. Interesting, because this was the like where you got the the backpack, I think. From Doom, or was it the map? To have it already uh, acknowledged as a door and not a secret. Oh, I like this too. Wow, yeah, this little. Oh, did I save right before I came in here? the door. Oh, you gotta shoot it. I keep forgetting there's, like, shoot switches. Okay. I'm gonna save. I wonder if that's a... See, I think it's fitting, but maybe it's because I know it's from the original. So I'm like, yeah. Man, really liking the use of color. I don't think I was quite expecting that. Make sure I, I look at it from this angle as well. In case I. Uh, that was hiding in like a corner somewhere. So I could have just shot that and that would have worked. Nice. Oh, wait. Now I can't go in. Interesting. So I, I can't go in because I went backwards, maybe? Let's find out. Let me reload. Oh, I can't. So I already saved down here. 
I thought I saved up there. Dang it. I can't test that. My stream's like a, a little delayed on YouTube's. So give me a second here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna save here. Alright. And then, uh, we're gonna... No, I can't go here. Is this the one I shoot? Do I shoot this? Only works once. Or am I shooting something wrong? Because this is not open it. Then do the puzzle. Okay, okay. So let's let's just uh... Debbie gets fingered. Those bishops. Man, Sister Act Seer is still going strong. Oh, I like these little lights too. So we can, we can break these. No, I didn't want to do that. Oh no. I went to, uh, I went to, uh, I accidentally closed. Can I just like load my save game with that with that also count? Birds. Is that what they're supposed to be? Uh, okay. I thought they might be, but then I also I, I picture birds as squished M's. But soaring birds would look more like that. So we're gonna... Wasn't a good idea. I don't know if there's anything in there. Come on, let's see. I think so. Looks like we're safe. Nukem mouse. I wasn't sure if that was like a necklace. Wait. This is a secret place?
This is where the chainsaw would be. That was cool. Oh, I was hoping that was just enough. Oh, look it out there. I like that. I get a good angle at it. Yeah. I guess I could no clip out there eventually. Maybe we'll do that. So now can I go? Uh... that There's more to do for here yet no all right let's go to the other wing so far I can't go through the door even if I shoot it or don't. Okay, so we're going to go to the other wing this way. So there used to be like a, a secret here. Oh yeah, right there, which goes to the uh, service tunnel. That's how you get here. I like that, that's pretty cool. Central command. I have a feeling that Battle Lord is going to come alive. Okay. Got some Octobrains. Oh, that's this section. That's pretty cool. I like what you did there. Oh, Central Command's above me. I like how because this is the service tunnels, there's all this graffiti. That saying that Sigur is so bad at their job. Covered in cream. I was hoping that was going to be close enough. Down, down, down. There used to be. Oh, there's a secret. Yeah. This. I don't want to take that. Yeah. I still want to do stuff in here. Um. 
And I'll do this one. Four. We're do doing pretty good, actually. Uh, let me load, because I just want a better picture of... experimenting right now. Little lines there. Are there any explosives here? Uh, I mean, like, uh, explosive walls. Just kind of looking around, sorry. I, I know I'm probably going to die again. I'm using it, it as an opportunity. I don't think there is. Uh, so we'll leave. Now, I'm going to, uh, before I head forward, I'm actually going to go back. Because I mentioned... I want to go back in there, because we have explosives, so I'm going to kill these guys. Because I want to. Um, but also, because I want to take another peek out here. Now hiring nuclear waste manager, twelve dollars an hour. Yeah. It's supposed to be like a little train, maybe that goes around. That'd be cool. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, Makes sense. I'm taking another peek out here. Almost looks like I could get up there. I don't know if it's like a... Should I kind of thing. Do you... You can't get up there. We'll check and you never know. Well, you'd assume you would know, so false, but you want to look. I thought there was something else that happens up here. Again, I'm mixing things up, man. Like I like for some reason I feel feeling like there was something else that happens in this area. It's like I feel like I remember secret in the secret in the original. Did you all die? Where did you go? I like this little detail, like, I don't know if you'll ever go in there. Never go in there? Okay, so it's just decoration. I like this little castle. Little look. So many little details.
gonna go. There's no broken stuff that I see. Oh, that was a mistake. Why'd I do that? Dear Dave, we are tired of having to remind you of the passcode. Next time, you're fired. Like, there's even all these little details up here with these vents and these pots. Like, it's a lot. It's a lot. I feel like I could, I could, I could do that. I, I feel like I make a little jump, jump on there, jump up there, and believe in myself. Oh, it'd probably be easier to do from there, actually. Jump across there, jump. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to plan my strategy. Or, yeah, easy to do this as well. these chairs. Some nice chairs. On the couch up there. Ceiling's blocked up? Oh, you. <laughs> I was playing, uh. Played a little bit of, uh. Ion Fury or. Ion Maiden, whichever it's called. And, uh, they have that super secret in the first level where you have to, like, jump off 5,000 things. And so that's what. I keep thinking someone's gonna do that one day. Like this. Man, you got it puts so much detail in every little room. Okay, so that's the doors. Nice little battle there. I like how you're doing this, by the way. These, like, slouched uh, spacesuits. Hey, it's a Half-Life reference. No. Is it supposed to be a working ladder?
double checking. Okay. Uh, so I got that. For some reason I thought there were six switches. Now I'm gonna go a little bit forward first, and then we'll we'll go back. Thank you. I mean, I'm, I feel like I'm getting pretty good at getting secrets lately. Like that. Oh, he's coming through. Go through it. I'm trying to line these guys up for a good shot. I didn't know. I thought they were just force fields, so I didn't even try. Um, so I know there's an atomic alt up there, so I know I can get up there. in there. I approve. Oh, I have to go get it again? Oh, damn. So can't go in there. Go in there. I'm just looking. Oh yeah, I wasn't gonna point that out. Are you seeing it like the the light source that you have going on there? I do like that effect, by the way. That's a pretty cool looking effect right there. Uh, so I know the secret here, so we're not going to do that. We're going to wait, and we're going to go back and get the things we missed. Um, yeah, I didn't know about the force field. the only downside they're they're too low so they're falling through a little bit but again that might be my uh maybe it's my youtube version now they're all hanging out uh down there 
Oh, shoot. How bad for them. Doom Nukem 3D. That's will be the Duke Nukem 3D expansion pack. $14.99 in fact. Why they fall through the floor? It's all blocked, but they are above the sprite. The two don't know how to fix it for the same reason the aliens get stuck in the red key card area. I think it's just because they're maybe too low. Even if they're on the same plane, I feel like you gotta raise them up, and maybe they'll drop onto that block layer. But if they're too close to it, it's like they when they their AI activates, they like warp a little bit downwards, and. Uh, it mess I feel like that makes them drop. Um, but I'm just making stuff up, so I don't I don't know if I'm actually right here. Let's try this one. Okay. And then can I go in here? Uh-huh. Go in here. Uh, can I go down there though? Jones, what are you doing in here? Cool, cool. And so that blocked off there, that blocked off there. So I can't go in there, but that's just supposed to be wherever that room is, I'm assuming. And I think that's it. Another shot of that. Um, I've gotten to. So I'm assuming the super secret is a secret in itself. Secret in itself. I do like these. Poster is great.
everybody. I am trying my hardest to ignore you. So you could get that to go longer. There's something out there. That seems more like a no clip fun thing. Okay, so super secret, unassuming. Assuming. Wall hump situ situation. Let's see if I can jump over here and just see over there. Okay, the trams. Weird. I feel like there was another secret in the original Doom out here, but like, I, I thought crazy. Where it is, I'll tell you, you've been to where it is at all. Wait, what is that? Well, that's <laughs> it's good to know that I've already been to a place that it is. Trying to get in here. Oh, no wall hugging us. Sorry. Okay. Where is it? It's where, like, you know, we get in there, we get in there, that goes up here, that goes up here. Where is this? Sign the book. What can I do? I'm after a good owner who passed away during infection of his long wall farm service. Thank you. It was nice to have a little thank you in there. Shall we sign the book? Got a little helicopter on it. That's cute. Duke Stein flight log. Star Nukem. Oh, these are the testers for the map. Trust myself if that's it. I like that little. I want to go anywhere else. I still like want to kill all these guys just because I want to. Um...
was hoping I could activate him, but I'm not. Alright. Secret Hunters? I think it's... I, I love level stuff like that. Anytime you do a super, a super secret, that's really cool. Especially if it's a good way to put your credits in like that, too. But we're still one secret down. I love this. I've sure got a screenshot of that already, but... Uh, I forget what the code was already. I didn't write it down. Damn. Uh, here, let me do it. Five. Okay. later. You can see it in there too. Or is that like reversed? I wonder if I could get in there. Probably not. There's a mirror. Yeah, yeah, it's reversed. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even realize that was a mirror. I like this, like, carbonite thing. one secret and I like I kind of remember there being a secret um company. Where is that one secret I'm missing? Missing one actual secret. Mm -hmm. 
is it? That's acceptable. You're sure enough people could figure it out. Really wanted to try. In the original Doom, unless you know your original Doom lore, like books, or you or should I whip out the Knee Deep in the Dead book? Um, is, has it been referenced in this map already? Well, I'm, I guess I beat it. Some lore from the Doom. What lore would we be referencing? Uh, from. It's not lore thing you should. <laughs> See, and that's the thing is like, so in in my mind, I feel like I am missing sections that I like, I know. Like, I remember playing one where I swear there's a secret by the exit. I don't know if that that's true or not. I do remember there being a secret in here. Is that it? Is that it right there? solve this problem with violence. It's the secret within a secret. Why is that? But why is that like that? Because there is a uh, um, secrets within secrets that I know of. Secrets that within secrets that I know of. So there was a secret in. Is there another secret in the chainsaw room in the original? I feel there was. Like, I knew something was in here, too. No, but the, the, the reason I'm still... Like, if we look at this, this is what throws me off, is this one with red. Um, I interact with that, but that's poisonous. I didn't try interacting with these. I didn't try interacting with these. The chainsaw itself just makes a funny noise. This has a little spatula. What are you trying to show me? You're just like, go up there. Okay, so then I I was right. I was right. That's what you're thinking. 
Um, give me a second here. Let me go back. Bye. Uh, can I go in there? No. So in this, I remember there being something. I do, but I don't think it was up there. I don't think it was up there. up there. I think it's up here. I don't think it's go back up there. These guys don't do much. The banana doesn't like me. This guy doesn't like me. We shot these and there's nothing in there. Squish me? I'm gonna get squished, aren't I? Oh no, I'm not. Well, typical doom secrets are, are very wall hunting. All secrets. All, all known secrets. So we're gonna beat the level and then we're gonna officially no clip around. Wait, where am I? Where am I? I lost. That's nice. Because there were some cool things out of uh, out of bounds. I'm gonna take a peek at. Largely be half sense to me, or else that hee haw imagine if we put a jump button. And yeah. I guess there's a few where you, you did the run, but you're right. I think Doom did a. Secret's a little better. A little better than Wolfenstein, obviously. Wolfenstein was just absolute randomness. Um. Where, like, there's no way you would know. Well, except for a few times where it's like, oh, I, you could assume there's going to be one there because you're in between two uh, flag posts. Alright. So, we're going to de uncrows this. We're going to de unclip this. Let's fly around. And, and, let's do this. So, here's the map as we know it. Let's de show map. 
can't show that. Hmm. Actually, that was a mistake. What I'm going to do is this. So this is it when we finished. Oh. And when we're done. It's kind of wild you put this stuff down here. I didn't really expect that much. Oh, is, is do we go down here? Oh, we are. So as you saw so much of this down here either. I saw this. Oh, I gotta turn clipping off. Shortcut to hide the crosshair. Yeah, that's a really, really solid map. I really liked all the little details that you added throughout it like even stuff like this where you're adding these sprites in the distance and closing off sections um but having it so you could still see through stuff that's fun i wanted to look at these Noob on all of them. Unless I could just go up. Uh, zoom in. So there's nothing there, nothing there. I want to go in here. Where is it? You need some of these switches work though. Yeah, it's a really solid map. Uh, so let's go visit our our friends over. Here, I didn't even notice the smokestacks before. Oh, there's some stuff out there. See, real cool use of just using this to kind of make it look like a facility. Ah, here's the the place that shall not be named. Built off in the distance. Oh, so you just have a, a built one, and then you do the explosives, and then you just flip the camera around so it's not actually blown up, or is this does this drop down? when I blow it up, because I haven't blown it up in this one. So this just drops, and then it reveals this. <laughs> it's that little... Ian stuff. Yeah. Oh, is this, uh, this is a super secret?
they all blow up when the explosion triggers around them. you go bud like where did you go i want to go in here actually like a surprising amount of detail in these little side areas like even like this You had the barrels run through here, or, but they don't. Just artificial. I died. Okay. if there's anything hidden in these little guys, you know? Never know. Never know. I'll check this room out, too. This cool little room. Two reasons you're reading this. Either you are a cheater or being this mapster. I'm cheating. This is true. Yeah, I like all the environmental little storytelling bits that you did. Very nice. Very nice. I still don't get this. What what is what is this doing? Not that, that's that's hollow dude. But this right here, why is this like that? these little ladders. That's a lot of little, little details. Right? So it made me think there's something there. That was a little, a little trick. That's it for the this room. These are just fiery bring brimstones of death. That's like that. All well, that's there. Did that, did that. Oh, I didn't even realize you could see in here for you to add that detail. here. A little look-see around here.
Look at that. That's... I don't know how I did I didn't notice that right away. Like when I opened the map. I think that is all. Yeah, I think that's it. I think we've got all the cool bits. Except for wherever that guy is. Wherever that's going guy's going. He's up here somewhere. Wanna check behind the sign? Just in case. Yeah, that was a solid map. All around. Love it. Now let me crack open some... some just the basic tunage. It's just some background music. Gonna set something up. I really did like that. Uh, That's a good interpretation of that. Like it was it, very diverse in that section from the original Doom, right? Especially when you remember where, um, Uh, no problem. Thanks for stopping by. That was greatly appreciated. Great solid map. Yeah, that side area was was really cool. Uh, where where the the maze would be, where in the original Doom, it's like almost pitch black. But I kind of like how you still had aspects of that, but you also made it a lot more diverse. There was a lot more different areas that felt more like an actual base. So it did kind of make I like that as a reimagining to try to take the same kind of layout, but then also make it make more sense as a, a functioning world. Um, and it added a lot of details and depth that was just really, really fun. We have a other, other map list for, for the future as well. Um, I don't know if I'd want to... Checking, thinking about the time here for me. Still have to get food. I have to get ready for this. It's a while to get there. I think if I for another small map or we want to go back to the well. I don't know. Maybe we'll save it. Second, I'm cracking open. Uh, I'm gonna crack open that MSDN here for, for a little peek. Sizing things here. Uh, 
Um, yeah, that was real solid appearance. I really like that. That was a really good reimagining. But man, we have so many good uh, reinterpretations of maps lately. Every time I see this, is this the one with the funny looking dinosaur? I guess that is a dinosaur right there. But there was another one I saw that had a funny looking dinosaur and I thought that was horrible. Just seeing people build stuff out of, out of sectors. Is, uh, what does that stand for? That looks old. I wonder what themes they have. They, there's bizarre, you know, which makes sense. Bob Mars Masters bizarre, uh, block mind. Thirty minutes of semi we're just been old. Mighty. Oh, I like that little slime though. That's nice. Quest. Look at that. That looks like it would be pretty quick. We'll do that. We'll do this one from... It's just because, like, look at that. It doesn't look like you do much in these. Oh, maybe not. Think about it. Make a dash. Dash. I did want to do the wall one day, but I, I don't know how long the wall would be. Park map with dinosaurs and sprite bells for eggs. There's a, a few I saw here for the Jurassic Park ones. Uh, passenger jet. Iron dig. Oh, this looks cool. Let's add some new art though. Neat and quick. Also, Legends 1 and 2. Okay, let's do Quest. Let's do Quest. It looks just so silly. Like, it just looks like a silly little guy. Oh, I already have that. They have it installed. Let's do, we're going to do quest as a, a little quick map to end the stream off. Um, I want to try it in the new Eduke, and if it doesn't work properly, we'll we'll switch it out. Uh, just because the newer Eduke doesn't have, um, it just behaves better in OBS. Uh, old Eduke that I have, which will run it. Fine, actually. Maybe we will run it in the older one on classic. The only time I have issues with the old Eduke is if I switch renderers while it's in uh, full screen. If I switch to window windowed mode, sw uh, switch renderers, then boom. Ever has love for Carnosaur? Is that a, like, are you talking about Carnosaur the game? Is that a map? Because I, I'm... see Carnosaur. I feel you're talking about. Yeah, you're talking about this. You're talking about this. But if somebody made a map called Carnosaur, that sounds amazing. I remember loving Carnosaur series like all of them that I've seen I've definitely seen Carnosaur 1 through 3 at least um, and in my child like mine I thought they were amazing um, <laughs> but they it, it doesn't do a ton with that dinosaur is, but in my mind I filled in those gaps is that a book? amazing um, Carnosaur is great, but there is carnivores. That game, I love. But any dinosaur, dinosaur Duke Nukem sounds amazing. Um, let me just get this little situated here. Did I put that?
this. Here we go. There it is. Uh, quest. Quest. Gonna I gotta do this real quick. Using old school Eduke. Full screen. Now you sh Like tremors would be translated into a duke map. Oh, that's a good idea. I wonder, wonder, because like you have, uh, especially if you use the expanded ro roster, like you use your graboids and you have your shriekers and you have your ass blasters. You want you to do, do your little dirt devils, have the little tiny baby ones jump out at you. Um, but the graboids themselves, I feel like they'd be more like a environmental hazard in a way, if you want to think about it that way. Uh, game setup, show sure level, blah, 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 okay, cool. Uh, we're playing on classic renderer. Come get some. secrets to worry about, so we don't really have to... ...worry about that. Doesn't mean we wouldn't have secrets, though, that just aren't labeled. You know? What map is this? This is a uh, quest. Oh, we didn't even. We, you know what? We didn't. We didn't do the. Uh... Give me a second here. Do the read me for. Give the person some some uh, credit here. Uh, so this is a quest by uh, George Brea. Oh, 
about ICQ. About my level career, I have been building levels for about... Oh, I guess I should... Sorry. I gotta record old OBS differently. Uh, description Duke Nukem Mister. Okay, uh, anyways. Building levels for about two years now. Uh, this will mostly... Probably be my last. Wait a minute, I've said that before. Anyways, this one might be my last. I'm running out of ideas. Duke Nukem mysteriously lands in the underworld. This world is very different from our world. There is no police, no beer, no girls. Duke Nukem has to find his way out. The only way to get through that is a demonic portal. Can he survive? Other levels? In case you ever want to download them. Arnie? Oh, that looks cool. Just because it has carnival in it, and I always wonder how people translate stuff like that. Um, credits. Being awesome explosions. And of course, the person just me. Oh, got some Caesar guys. SDN screenshots. Legends 1 and 2 are very similar and just as short, if I recall. No. So I can't fall off. Say, uh, I don't have a ton of ammo. But part of that is I think I just used the wrong ammo for the wrong encounters here, so let's, let's try that again. Uh, which came first between Quest and Legends? Oh, you think they might be like kind of? Are they the same the same author? Faces. Everybody loves the second one. That's because of 
blending right in. I think Legends is when I actually remember the name. That sounds familiar to me. Is that just the lightning? It looks like a little bullet. I think I could get caught in here. Some type sector faces monsters wherever this one is. Did you get it? Yeah, I did. Very linear, very linear style, but it's definitely going for like a experience with the way it's doing all this. Very, very, very odd. Come yeah, piece of cake. Who wants some? Ah, and a little, a little spice to it. Come get some. Hail to the king, baby. Oh, I don't think I was supposed to come in here. Oh, no. Come get some. Come get some. I like what they're doing with this. This is what I was kind of thinking about the the um, what you call it the uh, skylight that we were working on today in that um, thing about trigger. I wanted stuff like this. See, they're doing it with like triangles. I guess kind of works. Yeah, that might be the way to go. And then you kind of line it up, and the, the in between here you'd have your glass. But I'd have it so that there's like little lines across it. Also, um, yeah, maybe, maybe. Very 
dark. This is very Bob Masters-y. It definitely gives me some bizarre vibes. The way it's kind of playing with stuff. Yeah, that's one of the joys of the way these at map, uh, sorry, these the map editor works in the engine is I think it can lead to really cool um, surrealism, right? And we saw a hint of that in some stuff, um, but like Bob Masters did it, and then he did it in a, in a more traditional way with his later maps that we started to see where they weren't as surreal, but they still had surrealist concepts like playing with time and things to give you some neat visuals. But yeah, you could do stuff like this or uh, the dream series. I, I really do like the first dream map where you start as a traditional Duke map and then something happens where things start to get twisted and bizarre. And I would like that to get a stretch a little bit more, be a little weirder and then funnel back in. Um, if you want to go like a surrealistic, but uh, yeah, I just think this is a cool engine to do that stuff with. And uh, it would be interesting to see more of it. Just for that reason. Come get Not much to it, but looks cool. cool. Even though it's like I'm just going down a straight path. But see, that's always cool. Where it's like, oh, oh no, I'm in a place that shouldn't exist. Or it feels that way. here. Surreal quite a bit. I'm looking perhaps for it. Best feeling is when you surprise yourself with the results. Yeah. Cool. It's very satisfying when you think you have an idea and you're like, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work. Then you try it. It works. Or sometimes when I'll see something in real life and I'm like, I wonder if I could do that. And then I... I... Record guys. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna open that one in Mapster. Um, just to see if there's anything weird on that. A second here to and then uh 
end that the stream after this little exploration here. Save the Legends ones just because of some stuff I have to do right after this. I have to start getting ready. Have enough time to go through and take a peek at these in Master. I, I don't know if... I don't think I'll probably hide a ton of stuff out of bounds on this. But, you know, you never know. And, uh, let's we'll get it open here. Okay, so here's quest in Mapster. If you're starting off point here, yeah, it looks pretty pretty linear. Not a not a ton going on uh, in terms of out of boundsiness, which I didn't I didn't really expect since there were no secrets. So. You, uh, you never know, right? Not even as complex as I thought it would be. Like, it does look kind of simple, so I'm... I'm... Still... And they really used every every little inch of just just what you see. That's it. The only real place I could think of where there might be something, nothing. In there. You have your, just your fire here. Little shooty portals that I got stuck in. Again, little fire portals in here. Little wave pool. Oh, we're getting to the explosion part. That could be cool. straightforward as well. This looks like the exact same area as this here almost. Maybe it's just because it's using the same kind of ideas. The cracks. It's spinny room. Then you have this giant explosion, which looks ridiculous. You can kind of see how it works. It looks like a little little cloud here. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Real simple map. Real easy, real quick. Visually, great for some surrealism. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the, for this week. I, I think we got a little bit more done than I anticipated, even though I kind of complained about it earlier because we did start that new section. Um, I'm kind of glad I had some stuff written down, even though it didn't really play a ton into this stream. But I think if I kind of flesh out the ideas we start working on, maybe start sketching out a little bit of concepts, uh, next week we'll have um, maybe a little bit more productive. I don't think this was unproductive by any means. But uh, in terms of 
being able to actually build out more areas because I think I'll have a clearer idea of the layout to a degree. It always changes once you get into the editor and start actually pulling some stuff around and building some sectors because some stuff isn't as always clear cut or easy to build, especially if we're going to start doing stuff with uh, skylights or layers, uh, though that might make it also easier for certain things. Uh, and then I can also start reading up on sector over sector. So that's what I, I think I might start doing. So, cause I, I think that'd be an interesting idea to pull off for that water section and uh, might make sense in that area. Cause it, we've definitely seen how it's worked in other things like the, the big light where, but that was for an actual house. Um, cause I, I definitely think I know how I could do it for other things, uh, but have a good weekend, everybody. I will uh, see everybody next week. I don't know what map I'm going to do next week fully. Um, so I might check, see if there was any new releases that came out because they always try to take priority if there was. Otherwise, I might start dipping into the well. Like we did have some maps picked out for malls. So I've been uh, that might be an interesting one to do is, is maybe see if there's anything related to what we're building right now. Um, not just in terms of it just has to be mall related, if we're tackling a certain problem. So right now I'm kind of thinking about a mall just because it would cover a lot of ground. But we've had a few recommendations. So we had the one that we were going to play last week. The one in that series, uh, which eludes me. To take a look, uh, went away from the editor. That'd be a good idea too. Like, I have access to them through this stream, and I do have grid paper. I could redraw it as well. That was my thought. Obviously, grid paper is only one grid size, so I'm not limited to one. But you're right, that might be a better, a good idea too, just so I can have a, an idea. Uh, let's go Dogville Roche. Clear the coast. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll do that too. Maybe I'll do like a double header with Dogville. I don't know. I don't remember how long Dogville is. It's the only downside. Oh, I don't fear it's a downside. That one compromise we ended up making when we're starting to add the hour of mapping is it, it uh, especially if we have some lead up talking about what we're going to do, it does eat up into map playing time. So I feel like I, I don't have as much of it. So sometimes doing two maps, they're bigger, is a little harder, unless I know we're going to do like an episode or something that's a little easier for me to kind of mentally prepare myself. But we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So I'll see you all next week, everybody. Um, I'll try to get chapters and everything up for future streamers or viewers uh, sometime tomorrow. Um, and then my plan is always to try to get the stream announced and ready for this week so you have at least idea what the Let's Play is going to be focused on uh, by Wednesday, Thursday is kind of my goal. If I can get it done tomorrow, that'd be great, but that means I'll we'll set the pick up. We'll see. We'll see. Um, is one hour long? So five hours my time. Um, that's actually not bad, though. I, I keep forgetting their older maps, too. I always do. Or I keep thinking I play them. Uh, so just before I end the stream, I just want to write this. Bill. Roach. Roach Island would be interesting just to see if I... How, how close did they try to... Near the coast. Where were you? Was it? Uh, okay. Good weekend, everybody. I'll uh, post some updates uh, on anything I'm working on for the channel, usually uh, on Twitter. So I should mention if you don't, you can follow me on Twitter if you have a Twitter. 
Uh, one day I'll get a Discord set up. I have a plan for it, but it's just trying to trying to get everything to the level I want it to for what I potentially use it for. And uh, unfortunately, the more streams that go on without me having it set up, the harder and harder it's going to get because it's something I have to keep up with. And once I have a system in place, it'll be fine. And slowly, I'm still trying to build up certain systems that would help me do that. It won't make sense. But anyways, I hope you still have yourselves a good weekend, everybody. And I'll see you all next week.